Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the hottest party of the summer. We are at SummerSlam. We are live here in Brooklyn, New York, and we are in set for an amazing show here tonight. And we are going to be kicking it off with some one-on-one -on -one action between two of SmackDown's hottest stars at the moment. Randy Orton and Ty Dillinger. Ty Dillinger, he's been wanting this match ever since a couple of months ago when Randy Orton eliminated his tag team partner, Cedric Alexander, and they were forced to tag up as they faced the revival for the SmackDown tag team titles. But the thing was, Randy was not about that. He abandoned Ty Dillinger when the time was rough. And Ty Dillinger, he was wasted a SmackDown tag team championship opportunity. Ever since then, they have been going back and forth with each other. Just attack after attack, insult after insult. And it looks like it's going to end here tonight. It's going to finally come to an end, hopefully. Because, I mean, who knows how much these men can get into. And look at Randy's shirt. Randy Orton's Star Killer Tour. Well, Randy Orton wearing a peculiar shirt here tonight. And oh, it looks like he's going to turn around. Killian Dane, Austin Eric, Ty's buddy. Look, that's just even more insult to injury from Randy Orton. Randy Orton knows how to get in the mind of his opponent and just wants to, you know, just. He wants to strike immediately, but he wants to take his time. He wants to play it slow and strike when the time is rough. And Ty Dillinger is definitely. Definitely on the rough at the moment. I mean, he's just had the worst of luck and about about 100% of it has come from Randy Orton. And if you missed SmackDown, the last SmackDown episode, Randy Orton had the audacity to walk into the, the office of Daniel Bryan, our general manager of SmackDown, and say, I don't deserve to face Ty. I don't deserve I don't deserve to be treated like this. And he went and slapped Daniel Bryan across the face. Daniel Bryan, luckily he didn't he didn't suffer any kind of injury, like any kind of head injury, concussion, nothing like that. But Daniel Bryan, he was slapped and just kind of sat there thinking to himself. But now, Ty Dillinger, he was instructed by Daniel, he wants Randy Orton to fall. He wants Ty Dillinger to simply put, kick Randy Orton's ass here tonight. And look at this, into a, into a war of words right now, perfect 10, and the Viper. My god, look at that, just keep going back and forth, there's 10, oh, and Randy Orton's gonna fire away immediately. Randy Orton, here we go. Oh, try to go for an uppercut, but no, Ty Dillinger fighting back immediately. I mean, I know I'm supposed to say, I know it's a neutral here tonight, but I'm going, I'm going straight for Ty Dillinger. I mean, it would be such a comeback story, such an amazing, unforgiven shot if Ty Dillinger can prove Randy Orton wrong here tonight and get vengeance on those that Randy Orton has harmed in the past couple of weeks. Not even weeks, the whole goddamn series. I mean, as as Randy had on his shirt, he put out Big Killian Dane for a little bit, formerly known as Big Damo, and then he broke Cedric Alexander's arm, and he's just like, he doesn't show any remorse. And then this is the one that really hit Daniel Bryan. Austin Aries was power bombed through a car window because Randy Orton felt as if Austin Aries was gonna steal the spotlight 
from everybody here on SmackDown. And look at this, into the pinfall, Randy Orton able to kick out. And Ty Dillinger, all he has been trying to do is, is stand up for those people, especially his tag team partner. And even when Randy Orton was given a chance to be a champion, he couldn't even, he couldn't even come to terms with that. And he just went selfish and didn't help Ty Dillinger at all. And as we can, as I mentioned about the SmackDown Tag Team titles, tonight we will see Kevin Owens take on the Revival for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. We don't know who his tag team partner is at the moment, or, or maybe we won't know until the match happens, but... Until then, we can only assume that Ty Dillinger and Randy Orton are going to burn the house down in the beginning of this match. Randy Orton almost got hit with a knee to the gut. Orton able to lift Ty Dillinger up on his up on his shoulder. And no, oh, no, no, no. Oh! And as I mentioned, we have a huge match card here for you guys tonight. With our main event being... The oh! Jesus! With the main event being Braun Strowman and Samoa Joe going one-on-one -on -one for the World Heavyweight Championship in a last man standing match. See that last man standing match? That's going to be a brutal one. But then we have another kind of personal rivalry on Monday Night Raw, the WWE Championship, as AJ Styles goes face-to-face -to -face with Aleister Black for the WWE title. And, oh, Randy Orton with another uppercut. Orton just... Orton wants to lay waste to Ty Dillinger, not again with the neck breaker. I mean, would you call that a neck breaker or a back breaker? I don't know, but either way, it was effective. And Randy Orton, oh, look at look at the gall of Randy Orton. Just wants to pose, but Ty Dillinger quickly gets up. Come on, Ty, hit him in the face for me. Yes! Oh my god, I got, I might get fired by Vince if I keep doing this, but Ty Dillinger now, look at this, lifts up Randy. Oh, right onto the rope. Randy Orton is not feeling so well, not feeling so great, as Ty Dillinger lays waste with more and more strikes. That's it, Ty. Do as much as you can for the SmackDown brand. And now Randy, he's firing back. Well, that just got my hopes down a little bit. But anyway, these matches, we also have an eight-man tag team match. Wait a minute, Ty Dillinger has Orton, tiebreaker! The tiebreaker into the pin. One could have it. Two can he get it? No. Ty Dillinger nearly put away Randy Orton with the tiebreaker. And what I was saying was that Ty Dillinger now getting Randy Orton into the sharpshooter. He could have it here. Orton has nowhere to go. Ty Dillinger just wrenching the legs. Can Orton get out of this? Can he get it? Randy Orton has nowhere to go. Is he going to be able... Oh, look at this. Orton contorting himself like a pretzel. Kicks Ty Dillinger back. And able to get the one-up. Orton tried to go for the RKO. Ty Dillinger fires away with a huge knee strike to the face. Now Ty Dillinger going back into the pinfall. Could have it here. No, that's a two. And before I get interrupted again, I just want to mention we have an eight-man tag team match coming up here tonight with The Miz Network taking on Bobby Lashley, Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose, and Noam Dar. And now Ty Dillinger, oh no, looks to have Randy again. Into a, oh, a perfect 10 neck breaker. And into the pin, could have it. Come on, Ty, you got it. No. Ty Dillinger arguing with the referee, thinking that was three. That was close, but it was not three. I mean, I'm, as I said, I'm voting all the way for Ty Dillinger. And I can say most of the SmackDown roster, and even part of the Raw roster for that matter, would say the exact same thing. And Orton just wants to keep posing and just inflict punishment on Ty Dillinger here tonight as he drops him with a clothesline and another. Well, Ty goes for a clothesline, fires back, power slam. Power slam delivered by Ty Dillon, by Randy Orton. And now Orton has Ty Dillinger hooked up on the ropes. This is not good, DDT. Into a huge DDT. Ty Dillinger may be out here. Orton, once again, going into the pin. No, Ty Dillinger quickly kicks out. And not to mention, we have a fatal four-way Intercontinental Championship match here tonight with Tommaso Ciampa, Noam Dar, Dolph Ziggler. Just, we just have so much here tonight. It's hard to keep up with 
all the shenanigans that are happening in the ring as Ty Dillinger able to oh no he's got Randy he's gonna set him up look at this now oh trying to go for that running knee into that running knee strike that we've seen put him out before Orton with the RKO hits an RKO on Ty Dillinger no into the pinfall come on Ty kick out come on it oh well thanks Orton you broke up the pinfall for him but Anyway, oh, no, no, no. Orton wants to inflict even more punishment. Orton has Ty Dillinger into the single leg Boston Crab. Can he get it? Can Ty Dillinger get out of this? Orton, he's just wrenching the leg. Can Ty Dillinger get out? Come on, Ty. You got this. Orton is just trying. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yes, Ty Dillinger kicks him back. And, uh, sorry that I was getting kind of. Mixed up there, the Intercontinental Championship match between Tommaso Ciampa, Dolph Ziggler, Mustafa Ali, and Shelton Benjamin take place here tonight, and that will be an elimination Intercontinental Championship match. We will see the United States Championship go go in hands when Finn Bauer and Nadeo Watami go one on one, and now Orton and Ty Dillinger they're going to spread to the outside as Orton delivered a huge clothesline, as you saw there a couple minutes, a couple seconds ago. Uh, wait a minute now, Orton, oh, backbreaker. Backbreaker to the outside, Orton, look at this, just feeling the crowd. And Orton, look at this, just stares into the eyes of the perfect 10. Stares into the eyes of the perfect 10. Drops Ty Dillinger with an RKO on the outside. Oh my God, look at Ty's leg. Oh my God, Randy Orton. And Ty Dillinger, these men just putting each other through hell these past couple of months. And now Orton throws Ty Dillinger into the ring. Could this be for the last time that Orton hits the RKO on Ty Dillinger? As Ty Dillinger, he may be out right now. Orton into the pinfall. Shoulders are down. Could have it here. No! Ty Dillinger kicks out. And uh, trying to remember the uh, match card off the top of my head. We will see, oh, we will see Jericono go one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, with Hawkins and Ryder for the Raw Tag Team Championships. We will see Pete Dunne and Drew McIntyre go one-on-one -on -one for the United Kingdom Championship in a submission match. Oh, Jesus. Ty Dillinger drops Randy Orton right on his face on the ropes. And we will see the crowning of the inaugural World Television Champion here tonight as a six-man elimination match from SmackDown will concur who will walk out the first ever TV champion will it be Killian Dane, Mojo Rawley, Apollo Crews, Lars Sullivan, Shinsuke, Naka, freaking Mora, or Tyler Breeze and now going back to this match Randy Orton, and Ty, Ty Dillinger, I almost said Tyler Breeze there but Tyler Dillinger now Oh, hits the back of the knee on Randy Orton. We all know that Randy Orton has a history of knee and shoulder problems. So this is a lot. Oh, look at this now. Ty Dillinger kind of shadow boxing with himself there. And now Ty Dillinger. Oh, attacking Randy Orton in the corner. Look at this stop at a mud hole in Randy Orton. As we know, we are live here in, in Brooklyn. And oh no, Orton. Oh, Jesus, another uppercut. I don't know whose uppercuts hurt more, Cesaro's or Randy Orton's. But either way, Orton caused Ty Dillinger to roll to the outside. And Orton, oh Jesus, slamming the arm on the outside. And Randy Orton wrenches the neck. Jesus. And if I'm missing any of the matches, forgive me. But, you know, it's hard to keep up with everything going on tonight. As this is the hottest party of the summer. And Randy Orton now, oh, no, 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 Ty, Ty, move out the way, Ty, oh, my God, oh, yes, Ty Dillinger moves, yes, come on, Ty Dillinger, rolls him over, oh, no, 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 come on, Ty, yes, Ty Dillinger, rolls Randy Orton over, could have it here, too, no, come on, I don't know if I'm gonna get, if I'm gonna get reprimanded for this, oh, face breaker from Ty Dillinger, I don't know if I'm gonna get rep reprimanded for this, for being so, so, Unbiased, but Ty Dillinger and another face breaker. Ty Dillinger into the face breaker. Could have it. One, two. Ty Dillinger, no. Oh my God. God, I feel like I'm. I feel like I should have placed bets on Ty Dillinger 
But, you know, this match is just SummerSlam is so unpredictable. I don't know what the hell is going to happen here tonight. And Ty Dillinger using the perfect 10, just feeling the entire crowd. And Ty Dillinger, oh, look at this, into a, into a clothesline of his own. Hits another, goes off the ropes, and Orton hit with a single leg dropkick. No, Orton counters. Ty Dillinger jumps under, and now he's just attacking the legs of Randy Orton. Ty Dillinger trying to do as much as he can. Drops the fist. Drops the huge fist on Randy Orton's head. And now Ty Dillinger has, oh, look at that kick to the, oh, Jesus, Randy Orton just delivering a slap. And now Randy, oh, no, 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 Ty Dillinger countered with a bulldog. My God. And we will also see the Women's Championship be defended between Ruby Riot and Bayley. And Ruby Riot, as we all know, she's been, she's been followed by the Riot Squad. And th those men, those women, they're definitely not men. Voluptuous, great women. But... Randy Orton now, oh, Ty Dillinger, they've just been following Ruby around, and they've just been laying waste to the entire Raw roster, and even though Bailey has, Bailey has either caused or defeated those two women, you know, that Bailey's just has a head of steam coming in the, coming in the SummerSlam here tonight, oh, Ty Dillinger, huge elbow to the face of Randy Orton and hits a knee. My God, we're going on, we're going on almost four, uh, if I know correctly, I believe we're going on about 12 minutes into this match, and Randy, oh, Randy Orton has Ty Dillinger on the top rope, and Randy, oh, God, uppercut, oh my God, Randy Orton, oh, wait a minute, what is Orton thinking here, look at this, Ty Dillinger, oh, no, 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 Orton has Ty, oh my God, RKO from the top rope, oh my God. Ty, come on. You gotta win this. Ty, get up. Come on. Referee in the position. One, two, kick out. Damn it. Randy Orton gets the win. Randy Orton has defeated Ty Dillinger. Randy Orton has defeated Ty Dillinger. And I may have just lost all bets. Who is gonna stop Randy Orton? Ty put up a fight, but... He was no match for the Viper. And, oh, no, no. Come on, Randy. The match is over. You don't need to do this. Randy, you don't need to do this. Come on, you've already proven yourself. You beat Ty. You don't need to do this anymore. And, oh, no. Orton sending up Ty Dillinger. Oh, my God. Into the punt. Oh. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, oh my god, that, that's Daniel Bryan, R Daniel Bryan's in ring gear, yes he is, Orton, he's, oh, slapped to the face of Daniel, we play a SummerSlam, and look at this now, Daniel Bryan fighting away with strikes to the face of Orton, and now Daniel lifts up Randy with a back suplex, my god, the crowd cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. Daniel Bryan is back. Daniel Bryan setting up Orton. Come on, Daniel. Yes. Into the LaBelle lock. Into the yes lock that he is so well known for. Randy Orton, he has nowhere to go. Daniel Bryan making Randy Orton suffer in the middle of the ring right now. And oh my god, look at the face of Orton. He has nowhere to go. That's what you deserve, Orton. Oh, but spoke too soon. Now Randy Orton has the upper hand on Daniel. And look at this now. Oh, RKO. Well, like Randy tried to go for the RKO on Daniel. But now Daniel Bryan hits Orton from below. Yes. 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 Come on, Daniel. Hit that final yes kick for me. Come on, do it for SmackDown. Yes. And Daniel Bryan looks at the battered body of Randy Orton. And oh my god, he's feeling it again. Yes. 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 Daniel Bryan with the running knee. Daniel Bryan is back. Daniel Bryan is back. And he's better than ever.
As you can see, that's Raw's newest signee, Cole Quinn, speaking to our general manager, Drake Maverick, about his match with, oh, that man. He'll be facing that man tomorrow night on Monday Night Raw against, against Aiden English. And Cole Quinn and Aiden English. Oh, come on! Aiden English. Aiden English attacking Cole Quinn. Come on, Aiden. This is unnecessary. Oh. And Rusev Day has not been happy with Cole Quinn ever since the Beat the Clock tournament when Cole Quinn defeated Rusev. And Aiden English has not been happy. Neither has Rusev. And now Aiden just oh no 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 Jesus threw him into the bear into the huge just into the wall and now Aiden English has Cole up on his shoulders oh into that Aiden into that huge fireman's carry power bomb God Aiden just showing off as Cole Quinn rides in pain sick twisted bastard is Aiden English oh, ladies and gentlemen up next is the eight man match. Noam Dar, Bobby Lashley, and Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins go one on one, on one on one, with the Miz Network. We patiently await. We patiently await. Oh no! And as you can see, the three men. As you can see, all of those men represent The Miz in The Miz Network. And they will be fighting alongside their, I don't know what to call them, boss? Manager? I don't know, but nonetheless, Tony Nese leads the charge with Chad Gable and Sami Zayn as they all look to put an end to what The Miz calls the Motley Crew. And Tony Nese, Chad Gable, Sami Zayn, and The Miz let me just explain to you how this whole ordeal conspired to be what it is today. How this match got started. Noam Dar, he was toying with The Miz for weeks. Or, no, rather The Miz was doing it to Noam Dar. And it all came to, it all came to even more person, it became even more personal. When Noam Dar cost Tony Nese, an opportunity for the Intercontinental Championship. When he caused him an opportunity for the Intercontinental Championship, which won to Mustafa Ali. And then the Miz and Noam Dar had a match about a month ago. And after that, and after that match, the Miz sent the Miz Network to do some damage to Tony Nee or er, to Noam Dar, and all of a sudden, as soon as Tony Nee leads the charge, we hear it burn it down, and Seth Rollins came out to the rescue of to of uh, Noam Dar. Seth Roll Rollins started attacking, started attacking Sami Zayn, and out of nowhere, might I add, Dean Ambrose started attacking Chad Gable in his return. And then, um, an unknown assailant who was covered from head to toe, we had no idea who he was, was attacking Tony Nese in the crowd. And you see, that man ended up being Bobby Lashley. But right now, it looks like Seth Rollins is going to lead the charge, and he's going to be ready to burn it down here tonight. You know, Noam Dar, he made this team. And I wouldn't be shocked if Noam Dar could lead this these men to victory. We all know what these men are capable of. I mean, he's got three former world champions on his team.
Seth Rollins, a former WWE champion. Dean Ambrose, a former WWE champion, who ironically won it from Seth Rollins. Bobby Lashley, a former ECW heavyweight champion. And let me explain the history between Bobby Lashley and The Miz. So, in the first ever, in the first ever month of this series, it led up to a fatal four-way match at Backlash between Seth Rollins, Buddy Murphy, The Miz, and Bobby Lashley for the Intercontinental Championship. During that match, The Miz actually broke Bobby Lashley's hand. And the next night on Raw, Seth Rollins had a conversation with Bobby. And Bobby's words were, Once I get heel, I'm coming back for The Miz Network. Or no, not the Miz Network. The Miz Network wasn't established by then. He was coming back for the Miz. And you see, striking at the heart of the Miz Network, that was where he started. Seth Rollins, he may have been on board. Seth Rollins may have talked to Bobby Lashley aboard to make sure that they were gonna have four men, but Dean Ambrose came back from an injury and it made and it made four team and it made four men for a team. And you see Dean Ambrose has that muzzle on him. Dean Ambrose, if you didn't know on ECW, was a former heavyweight champion. But now I can now say that we have discontinued ECW as we have not been getting many show buys or people showing up to the events at all. So all the people that are on ECW are free agents. But right now, Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins, Noam Dar, Bobby Lashley, and here we go, Bobby Lashley. We have been waiting for this man. Bobby Lashley made his return two weeks ago. And you see Bobby Lashley back to dominate as his shirt says. The Miz wanted to call out this mask assailant on his own. And God, what a mistake that was for The Miz. Bobby Lashley immediately, he immediately after The Miz said that, his music rang and Bobby Lashley stood face to face with The Miz. And The Miz well, he was a deer in the headlights at that point. Got hit with a spear and a dominator. And subsequently joined the Motley crew known as Noam Dar, Dean Ambrose, and Seth Rollins. And uh, as we know, we are on number eight of the men in this match. The man who has made the crew. His name is the Scottish Supernova. He is known as Noam Dar. And Noam Dar, with his head held high, here tonight. Noam Dar looks to put that champagne enziguri in his arsenal to the Miz's head. And we all know how satisfying it is to see the villain go down. But as we saw with Randy Orton and Ty Dillinger, that may not be the case here tonight. I mean, when it comes to Noam Dar, he's been close to opportunity, but he has not secured one ever since. Wait, what's that? Okay, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm just now getting into my headset that that Noam Dar, that we have just been in talks with ECW's management team, and they are actually, they are not shutting it down. And Seth Rollins, look at this, Skywalker! And immediately now, now Jack Gable into the, into the pitfall, oh no. And you see, 
the reason I said that was that I was getting my earpiece that we have been going kind of low on ECW superstars as of late. And right now, Chad Gable has Seth Rollins right where he wants to remember eight men. First team to get a pinfall wins. And now Gable. Gable throws him into the corner. There's a tag into Tony Nese. And Chad Gable, look at this now, off the ropes. Tony Nese sets him up for it. Oh! Atomic drop into a, into a big boot. Great tag team maneuvers coming from, from the Miz Network. Drops him down with a knee. Tony Nese runs off. Oh, boot to the face. And into a huge running beauty shot. And Tony Nese has Seth. Oh, no, look at this now. Tony Nese has Seth Rollins. What is he going to do here? Sets him up. Pump handle power slam. Impressive by the premier athlete. And now Tony Nese. As Seth Rollins, oh no. Seth Rollins with an elbow directly to the face. Oh, and there's a chop. And Seth Rollins hits the super kick to the gut of Tony Nese. Seth Rollins sets up Nese into the small package driver. Seth Rollins goes for the tag. Tags in Noam Dar. And now Noam Dar. Oh, look at that. Oh, <laughs> Tony Nese. Oh. And Tony Nese now fighting Noam Dar. And now, oh, right to the face. And look at this. Oh, well, that didn't really help. As Tony Nice and Noam Dar both fighting. Look at this now. Noam Dar lifts him up into a shin breaker. And now Noam Dar looks down at Noam Dar, at Tony Nice. And you see Tony Nice. He's been the closest to success in the Miz Network as of late. As Tony Nice, he has. He was in the semifinals of the Intercontinental Championship tournament that we did last week, or last month rather, which was won by Shelton Benjamin, who will be defending his title in a fatal four-way match here tonight. And there's a tag in Dean Ambrose from Noam Dar. Look at this Ambrose throwback and a kick to the back from, from Noam Dar. And Dean Ambrose fighting Tony Nese. Ambrose hits a clothesline. And as you can see on the back of his trunks, the Ambrose Asylum is open for business. And he's ready to set up. And he's ready to set up so many, so many events for the series. He's going to be the man that will deliver WWE. He will lock it into the Asylum. But Ambrose now, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Nice throws him over. And now... Ambrose hanging by a thread on the ropes by Ambrose. Oh, look at this. Caught on the neck by Tony Nese. Look at the power. Powers him into a suplex. And Tony Nese now looks down at Dean Ambrose. Tags in Sami Zayn. Sami. Sami Zayn, we all know. He was not getting any success ever since WrestleMania. And Sami Zayn rolls him over with Hurricane Rana. And ever since he came back from his vacation, he has not been very successful. It's the first night back. He faced Pete Dunne in Pete Dunne's debut match. And that allowed Pete Dunne to be on the Monday Night Raw. Uh, Sammy, run. <laughs> Sammy Zayn. I was going to say Sammy, run, because Bobby Lashley now in the middle of the ring. And no, no, Pete Dunne. Oh. Well, what I was saying was that Pete Dunne, he's going to... He's going to be one-on-one -on -one action here tonight for the, in a submission match with Night Kingdom title. And look at last week's just cleaning house. Took both the, all three of the Miz Network members down. And now Sami Zayn rolls up Bobby Lashley. And no. Sami Zayn forcing him to tie. Oh, Jesus. Huge elbow across the face. He sends Sami Zayn. And look at this now. Bobby lifts him up into a full Nelson. Bobby Lashley. Has Sami Zayn. Was, oh, right to the face of Sami Zayn. And now Bobby sends Sami. What is he going to think here? And look at that. Swings are a to a neck breaker. And you see Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley's just been laying waste to the Miz Network ever since he got into this match. And you see all these, all three of these men not been treated correctly in any company they've been in. So the Miz took him under their wing. And under their wing, Tony Nese got closer and closer to the Intercontinental Championship. If it wasn't for Noam Dar, 
who is, oh, Sami Zayn with a half and a half suplex to the Dominator. And look at this now. Oh, it looks like Miz wants to lay waste to Bobby Lashley. Oh, look at this now. Miz in the ring with a clothesline to the corner. Now that Bobby Lashley is a little, a little beat up, Miz is going to take, he's going to be like a vulture. He's going to take the scraps. He's going to take advantage of what Sami Zayn, oh, of what Sami Zayn did to him. And now Miz is just laying waste to him. And Miz just looks down. And look at that. Oh, into a knee drop. And look at this now. Miz still looking down. There's a tag in the Tony Nese. It's a premier athlete and the Dominator in the middle of the ring together. And look at this. Tony just looks on. Tony Nese grabs him. Oh, no. Lashley's going to fire back. Oh, huge lariat. Knocks, knocks the Lashley. Knocks Tony Nese down. And look at the power. Bobby Lashley into a deadlift power slam. The strength of Bobby Lashley is impeccable. And now Bobby, Bobby Lashley laying waste to Tony Nese at the moment, going on the offensive. And Lashley just looks in the face of knowing of not knowing Dar Tony Nese. And look at this now, Tony Nese. Oh, out of the ring goes Lashley. And what is this now? Tony Nese looks down at Lashley. Tony Nese goes off the ropes. Incoming! Sends Tony Nese with the Spaceman Plancha. Or Plancha. I don't know how to say it, but nonetheless, it was effective. And there's a tag in the Sami Zayn as Bobby Lashley lays, lays motionless on the outside. And look at this now. Oh, no. Sam, is Sami Zayn going to tie something? Corkscrew crossbody. Sammy's aimed with the corkscrew crossbody to the outside. And Sammy, oh! Drops the backbreaker. Drops the backbreaker on the outside as Bobby Lashley now trying to recuperate. Bobby Lashley fires with a huge punch to the face. So Sammy Zane drops him down for a snake eyes. And Lashley just gets into the ring, makes a tag into Seth Rollins. Quick move there. Wants to make sure that he's not going to inflict too much damage in this match. And now Seth Rollins telling Sammy to get up. Oh no, this ain't good. Sammy Zayn outside, hit with a suicide dive. Hit with a suicide dive as Seth Rollins looks down at, at Sammy Zayn. Seth able to get in control, sends Sammy Zayn into the ring. What's going to happen here? Seth Rollins tells Sammy to get up. I don't know if that's such a good idea. Rollins, knee strike to the face, no. Sami Zayn moves out of the way. And look at that, half and half suplex from the underdog from the underground. And now Sami looks down at, oh, God, right to the face of Seth Rollins. And Sami, he's feeling himself. He's feeling the Miz Network's, feeling the Miz Network's energy. Look at Sami, got him by the, by the wrist into a DDT. Into a DDT, sends Seth Rollins. And look at this now, Sami Zayn, Blue Thunder Bomb. Into the Blue Thunder Bomb. Come on, referee, in the position. Could have it here. And no, Seth Rollins kicks out. Seth Rollins kicks out, and the match still goes on. Bobby Lashley in the middle of the ring just took out Tony Nese. And as you see, Bobby Lashley has to get on to the outside, or they're gonna get disqualified, and into another half and half. From Seth, from Sami Zayn, and Sami Zayn now talking to Tony Nese, but I don't think he notices. And there's a tag in the Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose is in the match. Here we go, clothesline. And look at this now, Rollins. Rollins is rolled to the outside. Ambrose drops Sami Zayn with a body slam. And Ambrose with an elbow. Good night. Dean Ambrose looks at Sami Zayn. And look at this, Ambrose sends Sammy into the corner. Oh, and there's, oh, look at this now. Chop, punch, chop, punch, chop, punch. Ambrose just fires away. And it looks like Noam Dar was instructing Seth Rollins to do something. And look at this now, Seth Rollins, oh, chops him down. Seth Rollins chops down Chad Gable. And now Rollins and Gable fighting on the outside. And as you can see in the middle of the ring, Dean Ambrose and Sami Zayn still going at it as Seth Rollins fires away on Chad Gable and Rollins he is not happy he wants to lay even more waste as Ambrose gets the control over the Miz Network and there's a chop no Sami Zayn fires away with the elbow and look at this now grabs him by the head oh no Ambrose drops him in the face 
and Ambrose now tags in Noam Dar. And look at this now, off of the ropes, throws him down, kick directly to the face. Beautifully done by Noam Dar. Oh, right to the arm. And who is gonna win here? Seth Rollins and Chad Gable still fighting by our announce table at the front. Noam Dar with the basement drop kick. And look at this now, Gable and Rollins still fighting on the outside on the outside near the ramp. And look at this now, Sami Zayn taking the head of Noam Dar. But Rollins now fighting. Has Chad Gable. Oh, look at this now. Oh, King's Landing. And now, oh, whoa, look at that. Trying to go for a half and half suplex, but Noam Dar able to land on his feet. Sami Zayn catches him. Fisherman Driver. Great, great showing by, by the Miz Network here tonight. As the Miz, he tags in. And oh, there goes Noam Dar to the outside. The Miz feeling the crowd, feeling the energy. And look at this now, Noam Dar. Miz patiently waited for Noam Dar to get back into the ring. And now that Noam Dar is a little bit, he's a little bit wounded, Miz grabbing the arm of Noam Dar. Miz could make Noam Dar tap out here. But wait a minute, no, Noam Dar been able to maneuver himself, firing away with punches directly to the head. And now Noam Dar able to put, able to get the tag into Bobby Lashley. But if you look on the outside there, Sami Zayn and Dean Ambrose fighting. And Bobby Lashley and The Miz going at it as Seth Rollins, as Sami Zayn drops him with a huge face buster to the outside. Bobby Lashley with a full Nelson to The Miz. As you can see, Bobby Lashley and The Miz are, are the legal men, but Ambrose and, and Sami Zayn, they're just, they're just, they're just going at it. Ambrose sends Sami towards the, towards the barricade as Bobby Lashley now getting more, getting more attacks. Oh my God, Bobby Lashley just fires away. And now Sammy, look at this, tosses Dean Ambrose towards the crowd. Oh my God. And I think they're, oh, yep, they've definitely just went into the crowd. Bobby Lashley and The Miz going in the middle of the ring. They're in the crowd now. I don't know where, where the hell they are now. But now The Miz and The Miz and Bobby Lashley, well, now Tony Nese and Bobby Lashley are legal. And look at this now. Oh, no, no, no. Throws them over into a back body drop. And oh, there they are. Thanks, camera guy. And Ambrose and Sami Zayn fighting in the middle of the crowd. And now Ambrose throws Sami. What is he going to do here? And look at this now. Tony Nese has Bobby Lashley. Oh, wait a minute. We've seen this. We've seen this before. Running Nice from Tony Nese. But wait a minute now. Noam Dar, he's going to stop it before it can get any further with the Nenziguri. And look at this now. Miz trying, to, Miz trying to get into the middle of the ring. Oh, huge right hand to the face of the Miz knock down the referee god damn but now Noam Dar and the Miz fighting on the outside look at this Noam Dar takes the arm Miz fires away with a forearm and the Miz now oh no 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 has Noam Dar don't do this neck breaker god and now Miz looks at Noam Dar and look at this now Noam Dar sent towards the barricade and Dean Ambrose and Sami Zayn still fighting in the crowd here Dean Ambrose, Dean Ambrose has Sami Zayn by the head. What is he gonna do now? Oh no no no! Ambrose has Sami into the dirty deeds on the concrete. And now Tony Nese and Bobby Lashley going at it in the middle of the ring. And Tony Nese, Tony Nese and Bobby Lashley, legal men. Everybody's just fighting everywhere. Rollins and Gable fighting near the stage. Miz and Noam Dar fighting on the left side of your screen there. And I don't know where the hell Dean Ambrose and Sami Zayn are, but they're fighting. And now Tony Nese delivers the knees to the midsection of Bobby Lashley. As Tony Nese, Tony Nese throws Bobby Lashley into the corner. But oh no, Bobby, Bobby able to counter. Oh no, 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 Tony Nese fires back of his own. And look at this now, Tony throws Bobby Lashley into the corner. Oh, right to the face. And another chop, and another. Tony Nese now just Trying to, oh, wait a minute, there's Seth Rollins. There's Seth Rollins. I don't know what, what he's doing, but Rollins. Oh, look at this now. On the outside, with a knee directly to the face of Tony Nese. Beautifully done by Seth Rollins. And Rollins now, oh, another knee to the face of Tony Nese. And Rollins feeling his crowd ahead of steam with suicide dive to the Miz on the outside. Bobby Lashley feels him. He's feeling the crowd into the spear. 
Bobby Lashley hits the spear. Oh, wait a minute now. He's not finished. Lifts him up into the Dominator. Bobby Lashley hits the Dominator. Into the pin. One. Could have it. Two. Is it done? Yes, it is. Bobby Lashley. No, and Dar, Dean Ambrose, and Seth Rollins. They've all done it. They've done it. The Motley Crew has overdone it. They've done. They devoured the Miz Network. Okay, well, by the desk of our own Vince McMahon, they've already appointed a new SmackDown general manager and has fired Daniel Bryan of general manager duties, but it looks like he's going to be a superstar still. And we're going to be moving on to the SmackDown Tag Team Championship action. As Kevin Owens makes his way towards the ring, we still are wondering... Kevin, who the hell is your partner? It's been for so long, and we have not... I mean, I'm just trying to think of people off the top of my head. Uh, let's see. Uh, Baron Blade. Uh, God damn it, Hulk Hogan, I don't know. Like, it could be anybody from anywhere. Ken, like, Kenny Omega, Cody Rhodes. Like, who knows who Kevin Owens' tag team partner is going to be. I mean, hell, it could be Heath Slater for all we know. But Kevin Owens looks happy in his in his match here tonight. And wait, a, what? Wait, no, it no. Is it really? Well, as you can see, it's Rey Mysterio. It's Rey freaking Mysterio. Kevin Owens has picked the king of Lucha Wrestling, Rey Mysterio, Mr. 619, making his return to WWE. As Kevin Owens' partner, well, I'm kind of glad that Kevin Owens kept this a secret because now, now I'm just shocked beyond belief. I mean, it's only the third match of SummerSlam, and I'm already complaining turning off the TV because... I feel like I'm gonna have a heart attack if I keep watching. I mean, Daniel Bryan started attacking Orton. Daniel's been fired of his duties as general manager. And now, the return of Rey Mysterio. The first thing that comes to mind when I think of Rey Mysterio is that amazing feud that he had with Eddie Guerrero back in 2005, which concluded at SummerSlam of that year. And a ladder match for the custody of Dominic, Rey Mysterio's child. Yes, it sounded weird at first, but nonetheless, they delivered. And then who could forget that classic steel cage match that Rey Mysterio had with Eddie. I mean, just Rey Mysterio dedicates his entire career to Eddie Guerrero, his lifelong friend. It's been 13 years since that man has passed away and Rey Mysterio looks to be the man of the hour along with Kevin Owens and as you can see our first our first championship match of the night we are going to move it to Jojo And the Revival held those championships ever since the King of the Ring pay-per-view where they defeated the Bludgeon Brothers, now known as the Wyatt Family. And there you have it. Now we can confirm 
this is a tag match. I thought it may have been a handicap match by the looks of it. But as we can tell, Kevin Owens definitely delivered on who he will be facing. And look at this now, Dash Wilder. Look at this, making fun of Rey Mysterio. And oh, look at this now. Rey Mysterio made his way into the ring. Uh oh, Rey Mysterio, look at this. Off the ropes. Oh no, catches himself into a bulldog. Classic Rey Mysterio. And now Rey Mysterio just taking control of Dash Wilder. Oh no, goes for it again for the bulldog. But no, Dash Wilder overpowers Rey, throws him right off. And oh, Jesus. Lariat to the back of the head from Dash Wilder to the mass to the mass marauder known as Rey Mysterio and I'm sorry that I'm I'm just kind of going over Rey Mysterio because you can't count you can't count out Kevin Owens either he's the man who earned this opportunity for the Smackdown Tag Team Championships but you can't deny he picked one of the greatest wrestlers of all time so it's gonna take a little bit for me to calm down about this but nonetheless the Revival has the offense taking control of Rey Mysterio as Dash Wilder sends Mysterio down to his back. And now Dash Wilder wrenches the legs. And oh, Scott Dawson hits the right knee. We all know Rey has had surgery five times in his left knee. As we can tell by that Don't Try This at Home commercial that aired for I don't know how many years. But we all know that Rey Mysterio has a history of knee injuries. So nonetheless, oh look at this now, Rey Mysterio, baseball slide, look at this, catches himself into a hurricane run of the Scott Dawson. And Rey Mysterio, look at this, like a frog, just keeps jumping over the ring, hits him with a springboard leg drop. And now, Rey Mysterio, oh no, Scott Dawson's got him by the leg, and now, oh, Jesus. Scott Dawson with a single leg drop kick to the head of Rey Mysterio. Mysterio may have to get a tag into Kevin Owens. Or he's not going to last very long in this match. And Rey Mysterio, listen to me. As he gets the tag into Kevin Owens, Rey Mysterio throws him down. Kevin Owens with a throw and into a kick. And now Kevin Owens fires away with an axe handle to the legs of Scott Dawson. And now it's time for business. Kevin Owens making his way into the ring as he drops him down for into a... Oh, Jesus. You got to think of the... Uh, I think it's kind of funny, the oxymoron... I don't know the term, the oxymoronism, I guess, of Kevin Owens and Rey Mysterio. Kevin Owens more based on, oh, look at this, Kevin Owens into a into a huge cross face, but now Dash Wilder able to roll him over. You got to think of the, the style switch that Kevin Owens and Rey Mysterio has. Rey Mysterio based on high-flying, high-flying lucha, springboard, stuff like that. Kevin Owens is more fair, focused on... He's more focused on being a powerhouse and a technician. Rey Mysterio, I mean, both of these men, they collide with the best of both worlds. But, you know, can their chemistry, do they have chemistry? That's a better question. Do they have chemistry in the middle of the ring? But now Dash Wilder, they're able to throw away Rey Mysterio's kick. Oh, well, look at this now. Rey Mysterio caught with, a, caught with a Russian leg sweep. And Dash Wilder now has Rey Mysterio by the head. Rey Mysterio sends Dash Wilder over. And what is this now? Rey Mysterio. Oh, no, no, no. Dash Wilder throws him into the corner. Mysterio fires away with an elbow. Oh, look at this now. Catches him. Bulldog. Kevin Owens looks on as Mysterio lays waste to his opponent. But no, Dash Wilder able to roll him over. And now, oh, God. Huge forearm to the face of Rey Mysterio as Dash Wilder able to throw... Rey Mysterio off of him and into into another tag. Oh no, come on, not again. Come on, they just want to target the knee of Rey Mysterio. Oh my god. They just wanna they just wanna make sure that Rey Mysterio is not gonna be able to do any of his famous moves. Like the 619, the frog splash, dragon rana, nothing. And Rey Mysterio able to roll himself over as Rey Mysterio gets the pinfall. One two could have it here no scott dawson able to kick out god i thought that may have been it there oh jesus Rey Mysterio crap hold him scott dawson's non-existing hair just, just slams his face directly into the mat as kevin owens grabs scott dawson by the head oh and there's a headbutt and now kevin owens fires away into the corner 
Oh no, Kevin Owens sending Scott Dawson up, but no. Dawson able to able to give him a kick. Oh, and there's an elbow directly to the head. And Scott Dawson now has Kevin by the Oh no, has him up. No, Kevin Owens rolls him over. Impaler DDT. Beautifully done. And Kevin Owens now with Scott Dawson. With Scott Dawson there. Throws Raymond throws Scott Dawson into the corner. Looks in his eyes. There's a tag. The Rey Mysterio. What are they thinking here? Oh look at this. So oh, using the double power. Sends him into the sends him into the turnbuckles. And now Rey, oh, Rey Mysterio trying to take the leg. Scott Dawson counters with a knee to the knee to the midsection. And now Scott Dawson. Oh look at this now. Jesus drops him with a sidewalk backbreaker. And Rey Mysterio, he's he's in the feeling out process now. He's taking so much punishment, but still trying to muster any any more courage that he can to get back into this match. Rey Mysterio sends him off. And look at oh no, Dawson with the arm drag sends him over. And there's a chop block. Jesus, send Rey Mysterio over his head. And now Scott Dawson into the pinfall. Kevin Owens makes his way in. Stops the count. I don't know if Kevin Owens stopped the count or Rey Mysterio kicked out. Nonetheless, Kevin Owens, go home driver. Go home driver to Scott Dawson. Both men are down. Dash Wilder looks on at Scott Dawson, thinking, is he going to be able to get back in it? Kevin Owens cheering Ray on. And Ray Mysterio looks down at Scott Dawson. He's going to take advantage of Kevin Owens. As now, Kev oh no, Scott Dawson obviously has the strength advantage there. But now Ray looks on at Scott Dawson. Oh, look at this into a power bomb, but no. Ray Mysterio is going to drop the dime. 619. World famous by Ray Mysterio. And now Ray Mysterio tells Scott Dawson to get up. But wait a minute. What's Dash Wilder doing? Dash Wilder sprinting over. Oh, ends a gurry to the back of Ray Mysterio and sends him off. He's going to cut off that Dragon Rana quick. But now Ray Mysterio trying to get a pinfall to Kevin Owens. Dash Wilder quickly, quickly able to get, get in there and stop Ray Mysterio from getting the one up. But nonetheless, nonetheless, Scott Dawson, the Revival, they were in control for that little bit of time. Oh, wait a minute, what is this now? Scott Dawson has Ray Mysterio into a brain buster. Scott Dawson feeling himself, but wait a minute, Ray Mysterio gets the tag to Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens is in the ring with a clothesline. And another. Kevin Owens, the powerhouse of this team, able to overpower Scott Dawson, pump handle, neck breaker. And Kevin Owens quickly into the pinfall. Could have it here one, could have it here two. Can he get a no? Scott Dawson quickly able to kick out, made sure he was not gonna, quickly made sure that the Revival were not gonna lose the SmackDown Tag Team titles as Kevin Owens Firing away with a bulldog, and Rey Mysterio gets out, gets that back into this match. Kevin Owens, oh, oh no! Dawson fires back with a punch of his own. As Scott Dawson sends him into the corner, and there's a tag. The Dash Wilder. Oh wait a minute, we've seen this before. Shatter Machine, Shatter Machine, and look at this now. Kevin Owens, he has nowhere to go. Oh, look at that. Rey Mysterio hits Scott Dawson. Kevin Owens quickly able to get out get out of that pinfall. And look at this bulldog from Rey Mysterio. But Rey Mysterio hit the senton on Scott Dawson. It looked like he tried to it looked like he tried to take out Scott and then break up the pinfall. But nonetheless, nonetheless, both men were down. And Dash Wilder, first, first of the two to get up. Dash Wilder looks on at Rey Mysterio. Says, what are you going to do, kid? But now Dash... Fires away on Kevin Owens with an uppercut. And now Kevin... Oh, wait a minute. Ke oh, Kevin Owens. Look at the power. Pushes him back. And now Kevin Owens has has Dash Wilder up on his up on his shoulders. Samoan drop. The Samoan drop from Kevin Owens as Dash Wilder has nowhere to go. Kevin Owens quickly throws him into the, into the turnbuckle. And there's a tag. And what is this now? Kevin Owens lifts him up with a power bomb. Whoa! Powerbomb sent on. That could be it here. Could have it. One. Two, no. Looked like a special move there. But now Rey Mysterio and Scott Dawson going at it. Scott Dawson drops him with a DDT. Kevin Owens quickly took out Scott Dawson. But did you just see that kip up from Rey Mysterio as he hits down Scott Dawson? And he quickly makes his way to the top rope. Dash Wilder. He may have nowhere to go. 
Rey Mysterio tells Dash Wilder to get up. This could be it. Rey Mysterio has all that he can. Got it. It's the Dragon Rana. One, two. We have new tag team champions. We have new SmackDown tag team champions in the form of Kevin Owens and Rey Mysterio. They've done it! Rey Mysterio in his return becomes a SmackDown Tag Team Champion and Kevin Owens finally secures his first piece of gold in a good long while. Kevin Owens and Rey Mysterio on top of the world, on top of the SmackDown Tag Team Division. The NXT Showcase. Well, as heard from Drake Maverick and now JoJo, we are moving on to some United Kingdom Championship action. Pete Dunne lost his championship back at Clash of Champions when Drew McIntyre pulled out a thing of brass knuckles and hit Pete Dunne directly in the face behind the referee's back before dropping him with a claymore. Pete Dunne was automatically assumed his rematch but he done up the ante he made it a submission match no disqualifications no countouts no pitfalls the only way to win is to make your opponent submit or knock out and you can see Pete Dunn not happy about losing the United Kingdom Championship as many champions are but Pete Dunn he's held that championship ever since ever since May of 2017 and he held it forever and due to some what Pete Dunne calls screwery I think that's a word he essentially said McIntyre cheated his way and essentially he did but Drew McIntyre Drew McIntyre, we all know how much he does in WWE, how much he has accomplished. I mean, former, former Air Continental and Tag Team Champion. I mean, we cannot forget that Drew McIntyre and Dolph Ziggler were former Tag Team Champions together. And the thing is too is that I noticed a little pattern when it came to McIntyre and Ziggler. At Extreme Rules, Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre competed in a Falls Count Anywhere match. Dolph Ziggler was able to be successful and defeat Drew McIntyre. And the next month after that, Clash of Champions, AJ Styles versus Dolph Ziggler for the WWE title. And then Drew McIntyre faced Pete Dunn for the United Kingdom Championship. And even though he lost at Extreme Rules, McIntyre still, he has, he's the one with championship gold around his waist. And you see, McIntyre, he has a lot of submissions in his, in his arsenal, but Pete Dunne, he's, he's known for British strong style. He's known for being a technician, a brawler. He's a jack of all trades. And who knows, what's going to come next in this submission match we may see a broken arm broken leg hell maybe they even pass out introducing the challenger from birmingham england weighing in at 205 pounds he done he 
Introducing the champion from Air Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, he is the WWE United Kingdom Champion, Drew McIntyre. He, I don't think he knows what he's coming in for. And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, we have a full stack card here tonight. I mean, we still have a lot more to go. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. We're not even we're not even a third of the way through the show. Well, actually, no, I think we are. But either way, we're still in the first part of this amazing SummerSlam pay-per-view live in Brooklyn. And Pete Dunn immediately out of the gate with a road kick. Knocks him straight down. And McIntyre just getting taken away by Pete Dunn. Dunn's, oh, Jesus, grabs the arm and just wrenches, just delivering huge kicks to the face and, and back everywhere. Oh, and now Pete Dunn using the fingers. Oh, my God, Pete Dunn, just with unbridled rage, knocks down McIntyre in the first second of the match. And Pete Dunn now looks down at McIntyre. Oh, McIntyre grabbing him by the hair, yanks him back, and that was going to be able to move him. Oh, wait, now McIntyre moves him out of the way. Oh, look at this. Million dollar dream. Million dollar dream from Drew McIntyre. But no, Pete Dunne able to roll him over. Pete Dunne is not going to be taken away that easily, even if McIntyre does have a strength advantage. And now Pete, Pete Dunne. Oh, look at this now. Whips up McIntyre. No. McIntyre throws him over. The referee must keep on the lookout. He must make sure. He must make sure that these men will say, I quit, or or just tap out, you know? Even though it is not an I quit match. And Pete Dunne and Drew McIntyre, they both just keep going immediately after. And McIntyre has Pete Dunne over his shoulder. I don't know what he's attempting here. Uh oh, look at this, just toying with him. Walking around, power slam. Huge power slam from Drew McIntyre. And now McIntyre, oh, looked like he was going for it again, but Pete Dunn. And like, oh, Jesus. Huge lariat from Pete Dunn, able to knock down the big Scottish psychopath known as Drew McIntyre. And look at this, trying to go for another power bomb, but McIntyre rolls himself over. I don't think McIntyre realizes that this is a submission match as he just, he just rolls him over. And look at this now, Drew McIntyre. Oh, no, no, no. Has Pete Dunn, oh my God, inverted Alabama slam. Face first goes Pete Dunn. And Drew McIntyre grabbing Pete Dunn by the head. What is he attempting here? There goes there goes Pete Dunn to the outside. McIntyre just looking on. Oh, look at this now. McIntyre is out on the apron. Oh my God. Just yanking Mac or Pete Dunn. Just yanking Dunn. Like a rag doll just throws him off. And then, Joe! Oh, Drew McIntyre just laying waste to Pete Dunn on the outside of the ring. Remember, they have to get they have to get the submission in the ring. If they tap out outside, it doesn't count. And look at this now, Pete Dunn. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my God. Pete Dunn just delivers a huge power slam to Drew McIntyre onto the apron. And whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Pete Dunn trying to go for a tombstone. McIntyre reverses into another. Reverses into his own pile driver. And on the outside, nonetheless. And now McIntyre using the left, using that left hook. Just using that left hook. And now, and now Drew McIntyre. Oh, no, no, no. McIntyre suplex on the outside. And Drew, Drew McIntyre, had laying waste to Pete Dunn. The curse of the commentator, Pete Dunn, with a super kick to the gut. Now he's got control. And now Pete Dunn into a Kimura lock. Into a Kimura lock. Can he get it? Pete Dunn just yanking the arm of Drew McIntyre. Is he going to be able to get out of it? And McIntyre, using his strength, rolls out of it. And look at this now. Oh, Pete Dunn moved out of the way. Oh, now a huge right hand to the face of Pete Dunn. And now Dunn firing away. And back into the ring they go. Now we're back in the legal in the legal zone. And wait, wait, what's this? Pete Dunn! Moonsault! Drew McIntyre moves out of the way. 
Moved out of the way, and now McIntyre off the ropes, trying to go for a clothesline. Pete Dunn fires away, but no, McIntyre counters with his own super kick. And no, 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 Drew McIntyre. Oh, air raid siren from Drew McIntyre. And what is this now? Drew McIntyre has him by the, oh my God, into a torture rack. Drew McIntyre into the torture rack. Pete Dunn, oh look at this, Pete Dunn firing away with elbows. He's gonna be able to get out of it. Yes, lands on him. And Pete Dunn with an elbow. Pete Dunn and Drew McIntyre just, just showing what British, just United Kingdom is all about. And Pete Dunn, Pete Dunn now looks at Drew McIntyre. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, McIntyre just pushes Pete Dunn off using his strength. And now Drew just looks down at the battery. Pete Dunn. Dunn just sprung to his feet. And now Pete Dunn just wrenching the face of Drew McIntyre. Don't forget, no disqualifications in this match. No disqualifications, no countouts. So they can do whatever they want. They just got to make their opponents... Sm submit and now Pete Dunn back into the Kimura lock. Drew McIntyre looks like he had his looked like he had his arm on the rope, but that doesn't matter in a submission match. And Drew McIntyre rolls himself over. Oh, huge chop! And another trying to go for a clothesline. Pete Dunn rolls out of the way. And look at this, Pete Dunn. Uh oh, with some McIntyre Xplex into the Xplex sends Drew McIntyre from Pete Dunn. And now Pete Dunn. Oh no no, what is this? Be done. Oh, into a lucky 13. Shades of Corey Graves. A oh, guy just wrenching the arm. Oh. Now McIntyre just right to the head. Drew McIntyre looks at Pete Dunn. Oh, right to the gut. And there's a chop. And McIntyre. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Dunn catches himself. And what is this now? Pete Dunn. Uh oh, has McIntyre. Oh, belly on back suplex. Oh, oh, McIntyre with a kip up immediately. A big man, a man that size should not be able to do that. And Drew McIntyre has Pete Dunn. Future Shock. The Future Shock DVT. Pete Dunn just got dropped. Remember, he can't go for the pinfall. So McIntyre's got to find a way to put him out. And what is he doing now? Oh, my God. Look at, look at the strength of McIntyre into a stretch muffler. Drew McIntyre into a stretch muffler. Using all of his power to it against Pete Dunn. I don't think Pete has anywhere to go. But wait, wait. Oh, look at Pete Dunn. Look at the ingenuity. Fucking away with, with punches directly to the back of the head. And now McIntyre. He's McIntyre. He thought he had it there. And Pete Dunn now. Oh. Drops him. Drops him into a SCO. And now McIntyre into the corner. Into the corner. Oh. Ooh, Jesus. Oh, nasty. And now McIntyre, oh, right down. And Drew McIntyre, oh, look at this, triangle lock. Triangle lock from Drew McIntyre. Pete Dunn, maybe have nowhere to go, maybe has nowhere to go here. Is he going to be able to get out? Wait, Pete Dunn, oh, look at the power, power bomb. Power bomb out of the triangle lock. Great counter from the bruiser weight. And looks like he tried to go for an Enziguri. Oh, there's a clothesline. Oh, Enziguri from Dunn. Oh my god. Now Pete Dunn. He's on the offensive. Oh, huge boot. Directly to the face of, of Drew McIntyre. And the way Drew McIntyre, he's in the drop zone. Pete Dunn. Oh, tried to go for tried to go for a diving foot stop. Tried to go for a clothesline, says Drew McIntyre. But Dunn fires back. Oh, wait a minute. He's going for it again. And there's another X-Plex. Another X-Plex delivered by Pete Dunn. And I don't think these men really have any kind of, oh, right to the, right to the face of Drew McIntyre and Pete Dunn into the bitter end. Pete Dunn hits the bitter end and Drew McIntyre is out. I mean, if he can just apply a hold, he may be able to win back the United Kingdom Championship. And Pete Dunn, wait a minute, Pete Dunn's got a chair. He done has a chair, and he's just he's just just circling Drew McIntyre, and he's gonna run into the ring like a bat out of hell. But no, Drew McIntyre, oh, using that chair to his advantage, sends him off and into a reverse DDT. Into a reverse DDT, oh, there's a chair directly to the 
to the gut and chest of Pete Dunn. Completely legal in this match. And McIntyre, oh wait, wait, wait. McIntyre going for a power bomb. Oh, look at it, look at that. Using the power, just lifts him over. Huge jackknife power bomb. Oh my God, and oh, no, 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 no. Drew McIntyre has Pete Dunn's foot stuck. Jesus. Right to the to the ankle of Pete Dunn. His ankle may have snapped. And wait a minute now. Oh McIntyre. Oh no, he's oh no, he's targeting that ankle. Oh my god, into another stretch muffler, I believe. Yes, he is. Into another stretch muffler. Pete Dunn is trying. Oh wait, wait, wait. Pete Dunn. Oh look at this. Able to able to re to counter once again. Fires away. But Pete Dunn now. Oh look at this now. McIntyre off the ropes. Goes for a clothesline. Pete Dunn drops him. Drapes him down on the apron. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Pete Dunn. He's on the apron. Oh! Knee directly to the face of Drew McIntyre. Pete Dunn, known for the British strong style. And now Pete Dunn sends McIntyre. Look at this into a sidewalk backbreaker. We gotta find a way. They gotta find a way to make their opponent submit to them. And oh wait, Pete Dunn looks like he's gonna do that here. He's got the Kamora lock locked in. He's got the Kamora lock locked in. Is McIntyre gonna be able to get out of this? He may have nowhere to go. McIntyre, he's he's squirming and wailing, but no, McIntyre rolls out of it. My God, these men are not gonna, they're just not gonna submit to anyone. And now McIntyre, look at the power of reverse DDT. Oh Jesus, it's only, it's only a fourth match and I'm running out of breath here. But Drew McIntyre has Pete Dunn. Look at this now. McIntyre has Pete Dunn. Claymore! McIntyre with the Claymore. That may be it for Pete Dunn. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. McIntyre puts that chair around the neck of Pete Dunn. But what is McIntyre going to be doing? Oh, he's going to the top rope. Drew McIntyre going to the top. What is he doing now? Oh my god! Jesus. Pete Dunn moves out of the way. It looked like he tried to go for a knee drop. Trying to de internally decapitate Pete Dunn. But now Pete Dunn just fighting away with the chair. And now, oh my god, just, just, he is not happy. Pete Dunn, he is, he's livid. And oh, McIntyre to the gut. And what is this now? Pete, Drew McIntyre up, has Pete Dunn up on. Up in the fireman's carry. Oh, well, wow, look at the power of Drew McIntyre. Powers him up into a stalling suplex. Drops him. Drops him down. And I don't know if it's gonna, if it's even possible to make these two men submit. And Pete Dunn, look at this, fires away in the McIntyre. Oh, wait, what is this, McIntyre? Oh, almost got hit with a power slam. Almost got hit with a power with a power bomb, but McIntyre able to roll out of it. And these two having a war of words, but McIntyre able to able to power himself over. And now they followed they followed out to the outside. Oh Jesus, that head can crush a bowling ball. And now McIntyre trying to oh right to the oh look at this now. Oh Jesus, that's what you get when you try to play Russian roulette. With the British, with the King of Bring a strong British song style, and there's the Lucky 13 on the outside. Oh my God, Pete Dunne just wants to make Drew McIntyre suffer. Oh my God, Drew McIntyre, he has nowhere to go. Is Pete Dunne? Oh wait a minute, and Drew McIntyre taps out, but it's, a, but it's on the outside. Pete Dunne thinks Pete Dunne's got to get him in the ring, and he's got to make him submit in there. And it may have been it for Drew McIntyre. I mean. If he tapped in the middle, if he tapped on the outside, Pete Dunn could definitely make a tap on the outside. And wait a minute, it looks like Pete Dunn's gonna go for the lucky 13 once again. Oh no, Pete Dunn into the lucky 13. Oh no, Drew McIntyre has nowhere to go. But wait, 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 McIntyre. Oh Jesus, huge haymaker. Not to be done off of his feet, but the clothesline. And Drew McIntyre now, what is he doing? Oh, look at that. Has Pete Dunn. And, oh, wait. Into the sleeper hold. Oh, Jesus. Into the sleeper hold. Drew McIntyre. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, P Pete Dunn can't go. Pete Dunn's passed out. 
Drew McIntyre retains the United Kingdom Championship. Pete Dunn did not set, did not tap out. Here's your winner, and still the WWE United Kingdom Champion, Drew McIntyre. Pete Dunn passed out. He couldn't take the strength of Drew McIntyre, and that's going to allow Drew. That's going to allow Drew McIntyre to be the whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, that's Randy Orton and Andrade seen Amos. It looks like Andrade is confronting Randy about everything they've been doing on SmackDown. And now Orton and Andrade firing away on each other backstage. And Andrade seeing Amos. He is not happy with Orton. Oh, Jesus, just firing away. But no, Orton throws him away. RKO. Randy Orton with RKO on, on Andrade seeing Amos. And uh, uh, oh my God. And now Randy Orton just carries Andrade on his shoulder. What is he gonna do in here? Oh no, 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 no. Randy Orton, snake eyes. Snake eyes onto, the, onto that box. And wait a minute now. Oh no, no, no. Randy Orton has Andrade. Look at this into an RKO once again. Orton not happy about his attack from Daniel Bryan earlier. Randy Orton looks like he just went into the into Vince McMahon's office. And it looks like we're going to be moving on to some women's action. The women's championship up for grabs here tonight, but surprisingly uh surprisingly it's not Bailey coming out first. But it looks like the Riot Squad want to make their presence known as as the women's champion Ruby Riot makes her way towards the ring. It looks like she has something to say considering Usually the champion comes out, or usually the champion comes out last. And it looks like the right squad wants to, wants to be the flank. They want to, they want to be Ruby's protection. Especially if they're going to, if she's going to keep that women's title around her waist. And this, I'm kind of confused. Oh, she's got a microphone. Hold on. What? No showed. Are you serious? Oh. Okay, it looks like it looks like we're gonna get a women's championship match after all. Ruby Riot's offering an open challenge to anyone she has never faced before in the past. And who is it gonna be? No. It's Shayna Baszler. Shayna Baszler from NXT. Wait a minute. That briefcase. Does that mean she's been offered a raw contract? Is she one of the NXT superstars that Drake Maverick has signed to Monday Night Raw? Considering she has that, that briefcase, I think that may be the case here. Pun intended. But it looks like we're going to get a women's championship match with with the debuting the debuting Queen of Spades Shayna freaking Baszler and Shayna Baszler versus Ruby Riot here we go women's championship on the line here tonight The Queen of Spades making her presence known here tonight. Introducing the champion. From Lafayette, Indiana, she is the women's champion, Ruby Riot. And Ruby Riot, she's finally able to say that she's held that championship. She is the second woman, woman ever to hold that title. First being Nikki Cross back at Extreme Rules when Nikki Cross had to vacate due to injury, due to spinal cord injuries. We hope we, hope we can see her in the future, but nonetheless, we have Shayna Baszler and Ruby Riot, both of these women in the ring right now. And here we go. Oh, Shayna Baszler. Oh, quickly. Send Ruby. Oh, over her. Over her. Oh, my God. Over her knee. And just. Oh, God. Delivering multiple knee strikes to the, 
to the face and head of Ruby Riot. And wait a minute now, Shayna Baszler has stole oh, Ruby Riot into a wasteland and just wrenching her with the abdominal stretch. Shayna Baszler, a former NXT Women's Champion. Oh, wait a minute now, Ruby, oh, Jesus. Ruby Riot right to the face. Oh my God, now Ruby Riot, Ruby Riot and Shayna Baszler, both of these women, oh, delivering so much punishment to each other. And this wasn't even the scheduled match here tonight. We were supposed to see Ruby Riot take on Bailey, but due to Bailey's reckless, reckless antics, she wasn't able. She was not able to to proclaim that championship match. And now Ruby, oh no no no, oh God. Reverse neck breaker from Ruby Riot as Ruby goes to the second rope. Oh, look at that. Oh, Senton bomb and Ruby into the pinfall. Shoulders are down, but no, Shayna Baszler quickly rolls out. And Ruby Riot now looks at Shayna. Oh, fires away. And as you can see on the right side of your screen, Liv Morgan, Sarah Logan watching on. They have to be in, in stunned disbelief that Shayna Baszler made, made her presence known and is signed with Monday Night Raw. And now, oh wait a minute now, Shay oh, Shayna with a kick to the back. And look at, look, she's just twisting her like a pretzel. And Shayna, oh no, Ruby firing away on the legs. And look at that, Hurricane Rana from, from the women's champion. And now Ruby Riot looks at Shayna, oh wait, no, 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 no. Shayna Baszler into her first DDT. And now Shayna Baszler has Ruby Riot, look at this, into a back suplex. Ruby lands on her feet, and Ruby Riot rolls her into the crucifix, into the crucifix pin. Good have it here. Can she get the win, though? Shayna Baszler kicked out, and look at this now, Ruby Riot off the ropes. Oh, Jesus, Spike Hurricane Rana, face first, sends the queen of spades, and into the pin. Oh, no, Shayna Baszler rolls out of it. And Shayna, Shayna and Ruby Riot just going all out. This is for the women's championship, ladies and gentlemen. These women want to prove that they are on top of the world. As Shayna Baszler, oh no no no, look at this! Oh, Stomp just just wrenches the arm. And now Shayna, oh wait wait wait, oh no, Ruby Riot rolls through. Ruby with a drop toe hold sends Shayna on under the bottom rope. And look at this now, Ruby with a with a belly to back suplex. And now Ruby Riot on the offensive. And oh, no, no, no. Shayna Baszler throws it off. Oh, wait, now Ruby. Oh. Now Ruby Riot just firing away. Liv Morgan celebrating as Ruby Riot taking control. No, Shayna Baszler sends her over. And Ruby. Oh. And you see Ruby Riot just. Oh. And if you don't remember, Ruby Riot won the, won the championship back at Clash Champions against. Alexa Bliss, and look at this now, Shayna, into a gut wrench suplex, rolls over, impressive, and now Ruby, oh, hit with another gut, gut wrench suplex, and into a pinfall, Shayna Baszler, can we have a new champion here now? I thought Shayna, I thought Shayna won the championship there, and now Shayna Baszler has Ruby up on her shoulders, but no, Ruby counters into a DDT. Ruby Riot telling Shayna Baszler to get up, telling her to get back into the fight. And Liv Morgan, Sarah Logan, just cheering on their fellow Riot Squad member. But oh, wait a minute, Ruby Riot looks like she's trying to go for a chop block. Shayna Baszler caught herself on the top rope into a hurricane run of her own. And now Shayna Baszler into the pin, no. Ruby sends Shayna over. And sends him over, and look at this now, Liv Morgan arguing with Shayna Baszler. Saying that might be, oh God. Huge ends of to the back of the head. And into the pinfall, could have it here. No, Shayna Baszler kicks out. And now Ruby Riot and Shayna fighting. Oh wait, no, Shayna caught her by the leg and just sends her over. And Shayna Baszler just using as much, using as much damage as she can as possible. And now Shayna, oh wait, Ruby rolled, rolled her over. Grabbed the leg and just yanked. And now Ruby, look at this, on her back, into a sunset flip. My God. Now Ruby Riot. 
Ruby Riot and Shayna Baszler just going all out. And I'm, I'm still in disbelief that Shayna Baszler is now the newest member of the Raw Sm of the Raw Women's team. The Raw Women's Superstar. And look, oh, looks like she tried to go for a Hurricane Rana. But Shayna, Shayna caught her. What is this now? Shayna, oh no, into the Kirafuda driver. Shayna Baszler has her right where she wants her. Ruby Riot may have nowhere to go. Ruby, she's just, look at how much she's panicking. She's struggling. She may have nowhere to go. My God. Liv Morgan and Sarah Logan. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait. Ruby has it. Ruby's fighting. Ruby with the elbows. She's fighting. And Ruby right now. Oh. Just kick to the... Oh, wait now. Shayna Baszler sends her over. I'm trying to keep up with everything here. Shayna Baszler has Ruby. Sends her off. Oh. What was that? What was that? A back, a back body drop? Whatever it was, it was effective. Oh, look at this now, Ruby. Oh, and another drop toe hold from the women's champion. And now Ruby sends Shayna into a schoolboy. Could have it here. Can she get it now? And no, Shayna Baszler kicks out. And Shayna, oh, Ruby tried to go for an enziguri. Shayna Baszler caught. And now, oh, wait, no. Ruby Riot. oh, look at this now. Oh. Belly to back suplex from Ruby Riot. And Ruby Riot now on the top rope. She could have, look at that, wheelbarrow senton. Into the wheelbarrow senton, one, could have it two. Ruby, no. Ruby Riot, not, thought she had Shayna Baszler put away there. But Ruby Riot, oh. <laughs> Ruby Riot had nowhere to go there. And now Ruby, she's just trying to get back, back to her wits as Shayna Baszler Takes control, sends Ruby off the ropes into a spear. Jesus. That spear may have knocked the wind out of Ruby there. And now Shayna. Oh, wait a minute. No. It looks like she's going to go for the Kirafuda driver once again. But no, Ruby Riot able to land on her feet. And look at this now. Into the crucifix once again. One. Could have it too. Can Ruby Riot have it here as she does? Ruby Riot retains the title. Ruby Riot retains the women's title. Shayna Baszler is livid. Shayna Baszler is angry. And Ruby Riot celebrating. Ruby celebrating. She is still the women's champion. And she looks to keep it that way for as long as possible. And the Riot Squad just surround. Shayna Baszler on the outside, making sure she's not going to try anything on Ruby. But anyway, Ruby Riot is the new women's champion. And you don't have any word. Ladies and gentlemen, we have very, very sad news to say that Shelton Benjamin has been diagnosed with a case of the flu and will not be able to compete here tonight. So, to make up for it, we will be having the Fatal 4-Way Elimination Match on Monday Night Raw to headline. And ladies and gentlemen, the next time you will see us on pay-per-view will be the No Mercy pay-per-view. And ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for some United States Championship match. And look at Hideo Itami. Look at this. Look at this transformation. And Paul Heyman flanking, flanking him from behind. Hideo Itami looks to get that United States Championship match away from the demon Finn Balor. And Finn Balor, he said he was going to bring his demon here tonight. And look at Hideo Itami just decked out. Let's see, let's see what we got here. We got dragon wings, 
We got uh, mecha cyborg gear, and uh, I don't know, I don't know what the hell that thing, that thing is on his face. But Hideo Itami looks to to show his judo and martial arts prowess. I mean, all he's wearing is wrist tape and his trunks. I mean, look, he's not even wearing his boot, his signature kick pads or his or his boots. I mean, Hideo Itami set for a battle. He's the dragon. He calls himself the dragon. It's gonna be the dragon versus the demon. It's gonna be an epic proportions of myth mytho mythological fights. And sorry that this is kind of, you know, I'm kind of ranting for the for the commentary here, but I'm just surprised that we're gonna see the demon once again in action here tonight. We haven't seen him since the King of the Ring. And the United States Championship will be on the line. Finn Bauer. Finn Bauer won the United States Championship at, at Extreme Rules, where he defeated Jeff Hardy in a ladder match. After being the semi after being in the finals of the King of the Ring tournament. And there he is! He's made his way to SummerSlam! The United States Champion, Finn Bauer, with that title around his waist. He looks to take down the dragon that is Hideo Watami. And ladies and gentlemen, the history of these two men is remarkable. The demon made his debut with Hideo Watami at NXT TakeOver Revolution against the Ascension. And ever since then, we have not seen him go face to face. But now, it is time to reminisce as the United States Championship on the line. Finn Bauer, the Day Watami. They will get to go back and forth, causing complete agony into each other. And Finn Bauer, with the title around his waist. He is set to defeat anyone in his way. That includes Jeff Hardy, Mojo Rawley. But uh, something a little unusual happened at SmackDown a couple of days ago. After Finn Bauer was not able to defeat Luke Harper in a match, surprisingly, Har oh look, <laughs> look at Finn Bauer getting to the face of Hideo Itami. And, um, and, um, what I was saying was that Luke Harper, Luke Harper and Hideo, or, uh, Luke Harper and Eric Rowan, after the match, they gave Finn Balor what they call the bludgeoning. I mean, I don't think Hideo Itami would have been, would have been behind that. Like, Hideo Itami said he had nothing but respect for his former friend and the United States Championship on the line here tonight is so much and here we go ladies and gentlemen that's what it's all about the pride of America the United States Championship on the line Look at the demon. He's just feeling, feeling the energy. Just not even batting an eye at Hideo Itami. All he cares about is that crown. And the United States Championship is something that these men have been wanting forever. And Hideo Itami and Finn Balor 
Look at them just staring face to face. And here we go. The dragon, the demon, both men in the ring at the same time. You can hear the crowd just chanting Finn. <laughs> but Dan Watami with a huge kick may have knocked a tooth out of the demon, just does it again. Dale with Tommy, now I know why he didn't want to go with kick pads. He wanted to give as much, he wanted to give as much power as he could into his kicks. And now Finn Bauer has a Dale. Oh, detonation kick. The demon with the detonation kick. And Hideo with Tommy now. Oh, Hurricane Rana. Hideo with Tommy into the Hurricane Rana. And now Hideo. Oh, look at this into a German. Oh, the demon lands on his feet. Oh. And now Finn Bauer. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. Payway kick. Finn Bauer into the payway kick. Knocks down Hideo with Tommy. And Finn Bauer. Oh, wait a minute. Not again. Payway kick. Finn Bauer with a payway kick. Knocks Hideo with Tommy down. And now Finn looks to take control. Hideo with Tommy goes over the shoulder. And now Hideo may have complete control of Finn as he drops him with a butterfly. Hideo, oh, double foot stomp. Knocks him down, and look at this now. Oh. But wait a minute now. Hideo Itami. Oh, right to the face. And now Hideo Itami firing away. And look at this now. Hideo has Finn Bauer on the ropes. What is he doing? Go! Jesus. Drops him onto the ropes. And now Hideo... He's just, oh, using as much as he can, using that martial arts prowess. And just look at Finn Bauer as he is recovering the battle scars of this match thus far. And Adeo sends Finn Bauer off with a power slam. So much power delivered from both of these men. And Hideo, oh, oh, they tried to go for a senton. But nonetheless, Finn Bauer, Russian leg sweep. Oh my god, now Finn Bauer... Finn Bauer is trying to use as much as he can. Oh, there's a chop. And Finn now has a day by the arm. Oh, and there's a huge elbow directly to, to the nose of Finn Bauer. And Hideo now, oh, look at this. Into the guillotine choke. Hideo Itami may have Finn Bauer locked. Hideo Itami is just wrenching the arm. Or not the arm, the neck and the head. And look at this now. Oh, Finn Bauer. Look at that in ingenuity. Just powers himself over. And now Finn Bauer just looks on. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Finn Bauer, oh, punches off Hideo. And into a... Oh, no. Hideo Tommy counters. Trying to go for a kick of his own. Finn Bauer sends him over. Paul Heyman just looks on. The weasel known as Paul Heyman just looks on as Finn Bauer is just delivering delivering waste to Hideo Tommy. And now Hideo... Oh, wait, no. Hideo Tommy counter for reverse DDT. Oh my god, Hideo Itami, he's going to the top rope. What is he attempting here? Diving foot stomp. Oh my god, Hideo Itami rolls into the pinfall. Could have it here. Shores are down. Do we have a new United States champion? No, we do not. Hideo Itami. It looked like we had a new champion there. Oh, body slam. And Hideo Itami looks on as Finn Bauer trying to fight, fight as much as he can, but Hideo lifts him up into a power bomb. And Hideo just looking at Finn Bauer. And Hideo, he's trying to figure out what will it take to put Finn Bauer away. Hideo just looks. Oh, wait a minute now. Hideo, oh! Huge knee to the face of Finn Bauer. Just using as much, using as much brute force as he can to extinguish the fire that is the demon in Finn Bauer. That's Finn Bauer now. Oh, look at that chop. And look at this now. Finn Bauer sets him down. Double barrel. Finn Bauer hits the double barrel to the side of the head on Hideo with Tommy. And now Finn Bauer rolls from the pinball. Could have it here. Shores are down. Bauer retains the title. No, he doesn't. Finn Bauer and Hideo with Tommy both using as much, using as much, just, I feel like I'm repeating myself here, but... There's, there's not a lot that I can say. I mean, these men are just laying waste to each other. And now Finn Bauer. Oh, look at, oh, try to go for a rolling elbow. Hideo moved out of the way. And there's a kick. And Hideo Itami with a 
but a diving foot stomp to the gut and now Hideo just looks in the face of the demon it's like he just looked in the face of hell there and now Hideo Itami oh no has been about what is this Hideo Itami into a clover leaf Hideo Itami hits the clover leaf on Finn Bauer Hideo just wrenching the look at the face of Hideo Itami but now oh Finn Bauer rolls him over look at this oh Finn Bauer double <laughs> double kicks that was great and Finn Bauer now oh no has Hideo he's gonna go for it again with a detonation kick oh wait now Finn Bauer with the heel hook Finn Bauer has the heel hook locked in on Hideo Itami oh direct foot to the to the face of H from from Hideo Tommy and wait a minute Hideo whips them up into a Falcon Arrow. Oh look at that now Hideo just wiping just wiping dust on Finn Bauer, just saying he's not gonna be too much. And now Hideo has been oh she's a spinning back fist that may have knocked out the demon for sure. And Hideo Tommy just looks on as. As he tries to lay more waste to Finn Bauer, goes for another suplex. No, Finn Bauer rolls himself over. And oh, look at this now, Finn Bauer. Tiger suplex. And into the pinfall. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. Paul Heyman's distracting the referee. Come on. Can we just get Paul Heyman out of here? This is this is a great match that's being interrupted by just complete nonsense. And Finn Bauer and Hideo Tommy now both in the corners in the respective. Whoa. Wow, that was. That was amazing. You just saw that these men know each other so well that they that they just countered each other's moves immediately. And now Finn Bauer just looks on a Hideo trying to go for a single leg drop kick, but Hideo counters himself. Body slam. Hideo hit hit the body slam on Finn Bauer, but now Hideo. Oh wait a minute, we've seen this before. Into the GTS 18. GTS 18, one, two, can we get it? No, Finn Bauer rolls the shoulder up. And Hideo and Finn Bauer still fighting. I thought Finn Bauer may have put away, or Hideo Tommy may have put away Finn Bauer there. But nonetheless, we are still going with this amazing back and forth match between the dragon and the demon. I'm just... Hideo Tommy, Hideo Tommy has Finn Bauer right where he wants to. Oh, look at that! Try to go for a look like a cutter. Finn Bauer tries to go for a single leg drop kick once again, but Hideo able to counter, able, able to counter with as much strikes as he can. Finn Bauer just powers Hideo Tommy to the outside. But wait a minute now, Finn Bauer is on the second rope. Look at this now. Oh, try to go for a running clothesline. Hideo Tommy ducked out of the way. And look at this now, Paul Heyman just. He is liking what he is seeing as Hideo Itami wrenches the neck of Finn. And Hideo, when it comes to when it comes to strong style, he's a strong proponent. He's probably one of the most underrated NXT superstars of all time. He's had several matches for the NXT title, was not able to was not able to secure that title. But now he is closer than ever than ever to getting a title as he is going all out on the United States champion his former friend Finn Bauer and look at this now Finn Bauer kicks to the gut oh into a final cut and Finn Bauer now oh wait a minute Finn has a day right where he wants him into a power bomb position what is he gonna do here Finn Bauer sit out power bomb and Finn Bauer has a day oh has a Deo down, but what is he gonna do now? Finn Bauer has a Deo, it has him right down. Finn just, Finn, he is just watching as he takes down as much as he can. And now Finn Bauer on the top rope, but Hideo, oh, Finn Bauer, it looked like he hesitated there, but Finn Bauer now off the top. Whoa, look at the strength of Hideo Itami as he just powers Finn Bauer back over to the corner. And wait a minute now, Snake Eyes from the powerbomb position. Beautifully done by Hideo Itami. And now Hideo just fires away with kicks. We trapped him in the corner. And God, Hideo Itami using as much as he can. Finn Bauer just lifts up the foot and just using as much, using all of his power. 
Finn Bauer, look at this, going for a power bomb. Hideo rolls him over. And now Hideo has Finn Bauer's shoulders down. Can we have a new champion here? The shoulders are down. No, Finn Bauer rolls, rolls himself over into a pin. But no, Hideo kicks out. And look at the look at the stare down here. Look at Finn Bauer. He's Finn Bauer. He's feeling everything. And Hideo just powers on with another knee to the gut. Hideo uses as much as he can. But now Finn Bauer firing away. Oh, right to the gut. And there's a huge kick. Hideo blocked it. And Hideo drops him with a roundhouse kick of his own. And then a, and then a double boot stomp. But no, try to kick him in the back. Finn Bauer alone. No, no, no. Look at this. Into the corner. Oh, oh no. Hideo counters. Hideo Itami has Finn Bauer. Is he going to get him out here? But no, no, no. Finn Bauer rolls himself over again. Oh, wait a minute. Rolls him over. Finn Bauer. He could have it. Can Finn Bauer retain his title here for now? Hideo Itami countered. Oh, and there's a DDT. Hideo Itami dropped the D... Or Finn Bauer dropped the DDT. And, and he's just using as much as much power as he can. Finn Bauer just looks on as Hideo recovers from the corner. They're just both staring at each other. And Finn Bauer... Oh, Finn Bauer. Oh, just firing away. Reverse shots. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, they go. And look at this now. Hideo... Oh! Beautiful Enziguri. From the master of the GTS. And now Hideo Tommy has Finn Bauer. What is he gonna do here? Finn? Oh, dropped on the top rope. And Hideo Tommy now looks on as Bauer. Oh! Oh, wait a minute. No. Counter. Oh, Finn Bauer with a chop of zone. Oh, wait a minute now. Oh, Hideo Tommy with a, with a wheel trip of zone. But Finn Bauer catches himself. And oh, right to the face. Or right to the back of the head. And what is this now? Finn Bauer has a day over the saving grace. Finn Bauer hits the saving grace. And it's to the pinfall. Hideo Itami could be done here now. Hideo Itami still in this match. This match is still going. I, I don't know how. But this match is still going. And Finn Bauer... Just looks in the face of a Deo. Oh, a Deo Itami. Just, just trips him over, and Hideo Itami uses as much as he can. Oh, Finn Bauer, single leg drop kick. But wait a minute now. Paul Heyman distracting the referee, or distracting Finn Bauer rather, and now, now he's gonna take advantage of that Hideo Itami back suplex. Drops Finn Bauer on the back of his head. And Hideo tells Finn Bauer to get up. And it looks like Hideo, he's anticipating as much damage as he can. And Hideo, and look at this off the ropes. Oh! The Bushida knee strike. And into the two. Can he get it? No. Huge Bushida knee strike from Hideo Itami. And Hideo, he's trying to, he's trying to just cripple the demon. Oh, look at this now. Sends him over into another D, into another Destructive Enziguri. Hideo and Finn Bauer just use, they know each other so well that I don't think this match is ever gonna end. Finn Bauer with a Michinoku driver, and now Finn Bauer fires away with punches to the face to Hideo Itami. And then Finn Bauer, oh no, Hideo counters, oh look at that, look at Hideo Itami just fires away. And wait a minute, Hideo has. Finn Bauer up into a Falcon Arrow. And the Deo Tommy now. Oh, wait, no, no. Oh, Finn Bauer. Right to, and a kick. Finn Bauer with the DDT. Finn Bauer with the DDT. Could have it here. No. The Deo Tommy gets the shoulder up. This match is still going. And Finn Bauer now. Oh, no. Has a Deo gut check. Finn Bauer with the gut check to the dragon. And the dragon, oh. Hideo Itami, oh no, no, no. Dragon suplex. It's a dragon suplex. And now Hideo Itami, oh wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hideo, GTS. Hideo Itami into the GTS. Could have it one, two, throw. <laughs>
Finn Balor, the demon, presses on as he will not go to sleep because sleeping is for the weak. And the demon is not weak in the slightest. And now Hideo Itami looks on. Oh, wait, no, Finn Balor counters with, with a kick to the back of the knee. And now Finn Balor, Tiger Suplex. And it's a pinball. Can he get it? No. And Finn Bauer looks like. Oh, wait a minute. Finn Bauer off of the ropes. Oh, no. Hideo counters with an elbow directly to the face. And Hideo Itami. Hideo Itami using as many, as, he, as many strikes and moves and submissions as he can to take down the demon. And wait a minute now, Finn Bauer lifts up Hideo for another power bomb. And Finn Bauer just looks on at Hideo. Oh wait a minute, what is Finn Bauer doing? Finn Bauer is going to go to the top rope. What is he attempting here? Telling him to get up. Tell him to get up. Finn Bauer. Oh, try to go for a missile drop kick. Try to go missile drop kick. But Hideo Itami now. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Just fighting. There's a struggle. But Finn Bauer tosses Hideo off. And there's an Irish whip into the corner. Oh! Good night, Finn Bauer. Good night, Finn Bauer. Hideo hits a huge hits a hell of a kick. A little little joke there, but Hideo. Oh, look at this now. Corner trap kicks. Just fires away on the on the chest and face of, the, of Finn Bauer. And now has and just hesitating, Hideo Itami. Oh, wait a minute now. Hideo, he's feeling himself. And look at this, hesitation drop kick into the corner. Hideo Itami drops into the pinfall. He could have it one, two, no. Finn Bauer is still in this match. I don't know how, I don't know why, but I'm sure as hell glad this match is amazing. Finn Bauer with an elbow to the back of the head. And Finn Bauer lifts up Hideo for a suplex. And Finn Bauer, Finn Bauer now. Oh, wait a minute, Finn could have it here. Bloody Sunday. Good night, Hideo. Bloody Sunday, and into the pin one, two, three. This match is over. This match is over. Finn Bauer retains the United States Championship. After all of that punishment that was inflicted to the demon here tonight, Hideo Itami was not able to put Finn Bauer away as we still have the United States Championship. And ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the World Television Championship Battle Royal six-man elimination match. And if you missed anything, if you missed anything from that, if you missed the entire series about why this match took place, at Clash of Champions, Daniel Bryan announced the World Television Championship. And you can see Mojo Rowley attacked Apollo Crews before their match begun. And come to the rescue came Lars Sullivan against Mojo Rowley. And as you can see, bam! right there and then out of nowhere Killian Dane started attacking Tyler Breeze and Shinsuke started attacking Apo uh, Apollo Crews so with Daniel Bryan setting everything in motion six men compete one will come out the inaugural world television champion and look at Apollo Apollo Crew is playing tribute to Kerry Von Erich, also known as the Ultimate Warrior. With this in mind, Apollo Crews, he wants to replay just what Ultimate Warrior did. He wants to secure that Intercontinental Championship just like Ultimate Warrior did, but that's not the Intercontinental Championship, that's the World Television Championship.
and it, Apollo Crews faces a lot, a lot worse odds than what Ultimate Warrior did. And Apollo is just set, dead set on winning that world television title. And here we go, participant number two in this match. We all know him, you all kind of love him. His name is the King of Cuteville, Tyler Breeze. And what, oh my God. Tower Breeze playing tribute to Macho Man Randy Savage. I mean, it looks like all these men are going to be paying tribute to somebody here tonight. Apollo with Ultimate Warrior. Tower Breeze with the Macho Man. Also known as the Macho King. You know, Randy Savage. You know, everybody. The SummerSlam Legends. But Tyler Breeze. Tyler Breeze with his selfie stick at his side. He wants to secure the World Television Championship after all of the punishment that he's been taking from the big men to the big men of SmackDown Live as of late. Big Damo, Lars Sullivan, just Mojo Rawley, everybody. And Tiger Breeze just looks on as he looks to secure what he believes will be his and will be his forever. But don't forget, he has to go through insurmountable odds. He will have to face four or five other men. And ladies and gentlemen, here comes participant number three. We all know him as the King of Strong Style. His name is Shinsuke Nakamura. And uh, looks like he's paying tribute to the Hall of Famer. Shawn Michaels. You can forget the classic matches that Shawn Michaels has had in the SummerSlam history. Who can forget the classic match when Degeneration X took on the Legacy? in their return but nonetheless all these all these participants paying tribute to all just legends of great of past well it looks like well now that I can see all three men have I can probably confirm that all of these men are paying tribute to someone and Shinsuke Nakamura Shinsuke Nakamura wants to he's had several opportunities for a title World Heavyweight Championship, United States Championship, King of the Ring, wasn't able to secure any of that. But he looks to do the exact opposite here tonight. And ladies and gentlemen, you all know him as the freak, Lars Sullivan. Uh, if I had to guess, he's probably playing tribute to Goldberg here tonight. Who could forget the Elimination Chamber match of 2003 SummerSlam. When he speared Chris Jericho through the Elimination Chamber pod. God, this, this is, this is going to be pandemonium. This is going to be an amazing, amazing repertoire of just amazing superstars that nobody would have ever expected. They all have a chance to be a champion here tonight. And just like, if I... Okay, so... What I'm trying to say is that these men are probably very underrated, in my opinion. And allowing... And allowing the World Television Championship on SmackDown will allow people who would never have a championship match in their life to have an opportunity. And ladies and gentlemen, number five here tonight, Mojo Rawley. 
and looks like he's paying tribute to If I had to guess, he's paying tribute to Scott Hall, Kevin Nash. Yeah, we'll go with that. But nonetheless, Mojo Rowley quickly to, quickly gets in the ring as he wants this match to start as soon as possible. He's been trying to get that recognition as a great superstar and not just some party frat boy. And Mojo Rowley, he's going to live in this moment. He's going to live in the moment. He's going to take the high road, take the highway. And he looks to take out as many people as he can. And ladies and gentlemen, number six in this match. Look at Lars Sullivan and Apollo Crews saying, come on. Shinsuke and Tyler Breeze just preparing themselves for what is about to come through that apron, through that, through that curtain. I mean, Big Damo, he's formerly known by... He realized he wasn't getting too much respect. So Killian Dane was reborn. Looks like he's paying tribute to former Raw General Manager Kane. And nonetheless, Hideo Atami, he's still resting backstage after that amazing match he just had. With Finn Balor and Killian Dane. Killian Dane, Mojo Rowley, Shinsuke Nakamura, Tyler Breeze, Apollo Crews, and Lars Sullivan all look to make history. And when it comes to six man matches, Killian Dane and Lars Sullivan are not too unfamiliar with the concept. I mean, if you saw NXT take over New Orleans, you'd know what I mean. Amazing six man ladder match. Killian Dane, Lars Sullivan, Adam Cole, Lars, or, uh, EC3, Ricochet, Velveteen Dream, just a great match. But this is definitely different from a ladder match. And here we go, six men in the ring. One will come out, the world television champion. Here we go, no disqualifications, no count outs. You must get a pinfall inside the ring to eliminate an opponent. But now, just everybody's going after one another. And Tyler Breeze now. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, backstabber to Mojo. And Shinsuke, powerbomb to Apollo Crews. Oh my god, now, now Killian Dane. Oh, Killian Dane goes after Lars Sullivan, Mojo. Mojo goes after Tyler Breeze, Apollo going after Shinsuke. And now, oh, right into the corner. And now Shinsuke fires back with one of his own. Mojo Rawley just fires away with punches into the corner. And just, okay, it's going to be hard to, oh, Jesus, Shinsuke with an elbow, knocks him off, and there goes Killian Dane over the ropes, Apollo Crews sent him over, but now Laura Sullivan's going to do the same, Apollo Crews is taking as much, much off of Killian Dane as he can, and there goes Shinsuke, firing away to the outside, oh, Mojo, wrestling takedown, sends Tower Breeze, and it looks like everybody's going everywhere, it's Apollo Crews fighting Killian Dane on the outside, and look at this, into the pinfall, Look at this. Oh, no. Tyra Breeze able to kick out. Looks well, like we may have saw the first elimination there. But Shinsuke Nakamura and Lars Sullivan fighting on the outside. Fighting on the outside. Everybody else in the middle of the ring. They are all fighting. And look at this now. Apollo, look at the power. And Mojo drops Tyra for a suplex. And Apollo Cruz has Killian Dane up. Look at the strength of Apollo. Stalling suplex to Killian Dane, the beast of Belfast. And now Apollo, with a beauty shot of his own, knocks down Mojo Rowley. Apollo going after Mojo, and Killian going after Tyra Breeze. We all know the history between Killian and Tyra Breeze, kind of a beauty and the beast scenario, where Tyra was kind of insult, was insulting Dane about his looks. So Dane took advantage of that, and he beat up Tyler. And look at this now, Shinsuke. Oh wait, oh, backstabber on the outside. And now Apollo. Apollo Crews going after Mojo. Oh, Mojo Rowley trying to fire back. Apollo fires back in his own. Tyler Breeze. Oh, and there's a chop. And Killian. Oh, Killian Dane. Big, big chop. Oh, wait a minute now. Tyler. Oh, and another. Another big chop to Tyler Breeze. As Mojo Rowley drops Apollo for a shin breaker. And now Tyler Breeze rolls up Killian Dane. We could have a new champion. No. 
we could have an elimination, I meant to say, because remember, it's an elimination match. You have to eliminate your, you have to eliminate all five opponents. And look at this now, Lars Sullivan and Shinsuke making their way towards the ramp. I mean, maybe they want to, they want to inflict more damage, but that's not going to cause an elimination of Shinsuke or Lars Sullivan, nonetheless. Oh, wait a minute now, Lars Sullivan. No, 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 no. Jackknife power bomb on the ramp. I gotta edit that. And Shinsuke Nakamura now sending Lars Sullivan. Oh, look at that axe handle. Lars Sullivan with an axe handle and sends Shinsuke Nakamura down. And now Lars Sullivan into a power slam into the into the stage. And there's a power slam onto the concrete as Killian Dane just laying waste to all the men in the ring. Sends Mojo off with a suplex throw. And now Killian Dane sends Tyler back suplex. And Apollo Crews got his second win as Apollo drops Mojo back suplex. And now, oh, Tyler Breeze with the back of the head fighting Killian Dane. This is going to be a lot to take in. As, oh, over the, over the knee goes Killian Dane. And there's a huge running back fist as he hits him with a supermodel kick. Tyler Breeze hits the supermodel kick on Killian Dane, but that didn't do anything nonetheless. And now Shinsuke, oh, Jesus. Looked like Shinsuke Nakamura was taking control of Lars Sullivan there. But Lars Sullivan was just too much for him. And now Shinsuke, oh, look at this now. Looks, looks to get away from Lars Sullivan. I wouldn't blame him. Oh, Jesus, look at the power. Killian Dane just sends Mojo Rawley over. Oh, and there's a punch to the face. Oh, wait a minute now. Killian Dane has Mojo. Oh, wasteland. And a senton bomb. And now Tyler. Oh, wait a minute now. Killian Dane. Oh, headbutt to the face. Now Apollo Crews takes advantage. Hits him with a crossroads. And now Killian Dane. Oh, wait a minute now. Apollo and Killian Dane working together. Oh, wait a minute. Lift them up. Oh, double backbreaker. And Shinsuke with a DDT to Lars Sullivan on the stage. They better be careful. They, they're going to fall off if they don't. And oh, Shinsuke counters with a bull, with a bulldog off of that back suplex, and there's a chop, and Shinsuke fires back. Oh no, this is not this is not a good idea. Oh, Shinsuke with a knee. Lars Sullivan caught himself, made sure he didn't fall. Tried to make sure he wasn't gonna fall off of the uh, the stage there. Mojo, good night, Apollo. Hits the run, hits the running haymaker. I thought that may have been it for Apollo Cruz there, but now Killian Dane going after Mojo, Tyler Breeze going after Apollo Cruz. all of these men just laying waste to each other, oh wait a minute, Killian Dane has Mojo Rawley up for the Ulster Plantation, and into the pin, one, two, Mojo Rawley's been eliminated, oh Shinsuke with a low blow to Lars Sullivan, it looks like Shinsuke is going to take control of the no disqualification rule, as he's trying to lay waste to Lars, oh, Kinshasa! Kinshasa to Lars, and now Shinsuke, oh, wait a minute, Shinsuke Nakamura, I don't like the look in his eyes, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, is he gonna throw him off? No, Lars Sullivan now, he's firing away with elbows to the gut, he's not gonna fall off here, but now Lars Sullivan has Shinsuke on his shoulders, this is not a good idea, oh my Jesus! Lars Sullivan just powers Shinsuke over his head, sends him down through the stage, and Lars Sullivan says he's done with him, and he's gonna make his way towards the towards the ramp as Apollo hits a moonsault on Tyler Breeze. Killian Dane is also down as Apollo just laying waste to everybody on the SmackDown Live roster, and Lose like Mojo Riley's gonna make his way out of here, and Apollo Cruz, oh, big body splash. And it looks like Mo Mojo is going to go through the crowd as Lars Sullivan is making his way towards the ring. And look at Apollo Crews jumping over the ropes to attack Lars Sullivan. And now Apollo and Lars are going to both fight as much as they can on the outside as Lars Sullivan hasn't really taken that much damage in this match as Apollo, oh, right to, right to the back. And now Apollo, oh, wait a minute now. Oh no, Apollo, oh, power bomb. And look at the power, powers him up again. And is he gonna go for the trifecta? Yes, he is. Apollo hits a power bomb. And Lars Sullivan now may have nowhere to go. And Apollo, oh, 
right to the face. And Apollo, oh wait now, oh, Lars Sullivan with a kick to the gut. And now Lars sends Apollo, he sends Apollo Cruz into the barricade. Oh my, oh, Juranagi onto the top of the barricade. And Apollo's just not feeling it right now. Just wrenching his back. But now Lars Sullivan and Killian Dane looking face to face. And now Tyler Breeze, he may have nowhere to go here. But now Killian Dane fighting up Lars Sullivan. Tyler Breeze is just staying out of it. Good idea. And now Lars. Oh, Lars Sullivan fires. Oh. No, Lars Sullivan. Oh, no. Lars Sullivan and Killian Dane working together on Tyler Breeze. Double face buster. Wait, are they? Oh, come on. They're, they're just bullying Tyler at this point. But no, Tyler Breeze fires back. But no, Killian Dane quickly, quickly grapples him. Oh, and look at this. Double choke bomb. Double choke bomb to the king of Cuteville. And now Tyler Breeze is going to roll to the outside. And Apollo Crews now makes his way into the ring. But I don't think they notice as Lars Sullivan has Killian Dane. No, oh, Killian Dane powers him over. But wait a minute, I don't think he notices. Lars Sullivan just rolled to the outside. I don't think he notices Apollo Cruz with a shoulder tackle. But wait a minute now. Shinsuke is back into this match. Shinsuke Nakamura is back into the match. Shinsuke Nakamura is going to the top rope. I don't think he, Apollo Cruz notices, but Killian Day doesn't. As Shinsuke drops him with a huge spinning heel kick. And Shinsuke and Apollo Cruz look face to face. And they both look at Killian Dane. It looks like they're going to work together as Apollo powers him over with a belly-to-belly -belly suplex. And wait a minute now. Shinsuke Nakamura and Apollo Crews both making their way towards Killian Dane. I wouldn't blame them. Tyler Breeze still out on the outside here. Lars Sullivan, he's still recovering on the outside as well. But Apollo and Shinsuke are going to are gonna try to... Oh, take care of Killian Dane. But wait, oh, Apollo Crews just saved Shinsuke with a drop kick using all of his power knocks down Killian Dane and now Shinsuke look at this oh god beautiful enziguri from Apollo Crews and now Shinsuke Nakamura and Apollo Crews working together once again oh look at the teamwork into the double suplex and Lars Sullivan I don't know where he went may have rendezvoused may have disappeared there and oh double neck breaker Shinsuke Nakamura and Apollo Crews working together. And Apollo Crews is going to go to the top rope. And wait a minute. It looks like Shinsuke is going to replicate exactly what Apollo is doing. Apollo Crews with a diving headbutt. And Shinsuke Nakamura now in the... Oh! Beautiful snake using the snake eyes move. He just hit elbow. He just elbowed Apollo Crews in the back of the head. Oh, put a crowd shot there. And Tyler Breeze is back into this match. Tyler Breeze, top rope. Oh, tried to go for a drop kick. Moved out of the way. And now Killian Dane looks like he's going to go for the Ulster Plantation. But Shinsuke Nakamura able to power out of it. He's not going to be taken down that easily. And Tyler with a chop and a punch. But I don't think that's going to do much. Well, wait a minute. Now Shinsuke and Tyler working together. Look at this. Oh. Double face buster. To the beast of Belfast. And look at this. Looks like we're going to double team him once again. And Shinsuke has Killian Dane in for the inverted power slam. I don't know where Lars Sullivan went. Apollo Cruz on the outside. And he's just out. And look at this now. Shinsuke. Kinshasa. Shinsuke with the Kinshasa to Killian Dane. That may be it. No. Killian Dane kicked out of the Kinshasa. That's not it. I thought it may have been it. But wait a minute now. Tyler Breeze. Shards of glass. Tyler Breeze hits shards of glass on Shinsuke. One. Two. Three. Tyler Breeze eliminates Shinsuke Nakamura. With the shards of glass maneuver. And it looks like Killian Dane tries to go for the Ulster Plantation. But Tyler Breeze quickly able to wiggle out of it. Quickly able to counter. As he drops him with a drop kick. And Tyler Breeze and Killian Dane going at it like wild animals. Apollo Cruz and Lars or Apollo Cruz and Lars Sullivan still in this match. I have no idea where Lars is. Apollo Cruz still out on the floor there. And now Tyler sends Killian Dane into the into the rope. Oh there's Lars. Oh wait a minute now. Apollo Cruz made his way back into the ring. And wait a minute, Lars made his way back into the ring too. And oh oh no Killian Dane catches himself. And Killian Dane tried to go for a broke kick. But wait a minute now, Lars Sullivan has Tyler Breeze 
up on the top rope. Oh no, this is not good. This is not good. Oh, Jesus, powers him over with a back body drop on the top rope. And there's a kick to the back of the head. It looks like they're both gonna go after Tyler Breeze. And oh, Lars Sullivan, try to go for it. Try to go for a kick to the face. Oh, kill you, Dane. With a broke kick and then a drop kick to Apollo Cruz of his own. And wait a minute now. Killian Dane follow, follows away. Sends sends Lars Sullivan to the outside. There goes Killian Dane fighting Lars. Fighting Lars on the inside. Apollo Cruz and Tyler Breeze taking taking each other out right there. And Lars Sullivan just pancakes Apollo or uh, pancakes Killian Dane. Oh, wait a minute now. Apollo Cruz. Oh, look at this, sends Tyler Breeze. Oh, beautiful lariat from Apollo Crews. And oh, Apollo drops the elbow on the chest of Tyler Breeze. Is Apollo going to be able to knock Tyler Breeze down? I mean, Apollo Crews has to get Tyler Breeze back into the ring before he can do anything. Before he can eliminate him. But now Tyler, oh, look at this, Hurricane Rana to Apollo Crews. There are only four men left in this match. And look at this, Apollo powers him over with a back body drop. And Apollo Crews now with a huge clothesline. Tyler Breeze may be done, and there's another elbow. Killing Day and Lars Sullivan just, just returning strikes back and forth in the middle of the ring as Apollo drops the clothesline. And just with a kip up, and there's a shooting star. Hits that beautiful shooting star press. And now Apollo Crews made his way back into the ring as Killian Dane and Apollo Crews drops him with a double backbreaker. Now what is it gonna take? Like it's like they must form alliances so quickly, but then it just shatters that quick. And so far, Mojo Rowley's been eliminated with the Ulster Plantation. And Shinsuke Nakamura was eliminated with the Oh shards of with shards of glass. That new cradle DDT that, oh, Tyler Breeze made, but Apollo Crews just tried to go for a bro kick, but Killian Dane just ate it. He didn't even do anything after. Yeah, Tyler Breeze came out with the Shards of Glass DDT, famously known as the Rampage by former SmackDown Live general manager, Page. And now Killian, oh, sends Apollo Crews over with a Tiger Bomb. But wait a minute now, Killian Dane, oh, pancakes Lars Sullivan into the corner. A little bit of payback, but now Killian. Oh, wait a minute now. Apollo drops with a back suplex. Tyler Breeze still out on the ramp. Tyler Breeze still out on the ramp here as Killian Dane has Lars Sullivan. Look at this, just wrenching the arm. Apollo Cruz looks on. Is he going to be able to take him out? Oh, wait a minute now. Apollo. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Jesus. Look at all the strength that Killian Dane just shows. Just powering him over with ease after a DDT, and wait a minute now, Apollo Crews, can he have it now? Oh wait a minute, Apollo, oh, belly to back suplex, or that was a Sa Sayedo suplex, my bad, but now Killian Dane, oh, I thought he was gonna go for the Ulster Plantation, he went for the electric chair drop, and Killian Dane fires away with a bro kick, and now Killian Dane fires away on Lars Sullivan, but wait a minute, Killian Dane has Lars up where he wants him, Ulster Plantation, into the pin, one, two, no, and look at this, oh, Apollo Crews, well, thank you, tried to go for, for a super fly splash, didn't really, didn't really do anything there, and Apollo, look at the strength, hits the Olympic slam, hits the Olympic slam on Killian Dane, and now Apollo, oh, no, Lars Sullivan's gonna use as much as he can, Apollo counters, well, wait a minute now, Killian Dane looks like he's gonna go for the Ulster Plantation once again, but no, Apollo rolls out of it, Apollo rolls out of it, and oh god, Apollo, Lars Sullivan using his body weight, just uses a shoulder tackle against him, and what is this now, Apollo Cruz powers Lars Sullivan up, can he get it, cruise control, Apollo Cruz hits cruise control, two, no, Lars Sullivan kicks out, and look at this now, Killian Dane, he's gonna power himself over, Oh, thank Apollo Cruz dropped an elbow, and Killian Dane did as well, but now Apollo, oh, going after Killian Dane. Oh my God, how much? Is, oh Jesus! Killian Dane just using his power just yanks Apollo Cruz to the side. Tyler Breeze still out on the ramp. Like, is this gonna be all match? Because if not, oh wait, now Apollo Cruz kick to the gut. Can he get it here? Oh wait a minute, Apollo Cruz rolls up Killian. Can he get it? One, two, no. Killian Dane kicks out. 
And now Apollo Crew. Oh! Goblet. God, right to the face. And now Apollo Crew. Oh, Jesus. Killian Day encounters. Oh, wait a minute. Killian has Apollo up on his shoulder. Deadly driver. And now Killian Dane. Oh, and there's an uppercut to the free. And there's another bro kick. And oh, look at this. Apollo Cruz just powers himself up. And what is this now? Russian leg sweep mixed with SCO. Okay. I was trying to figure out what, what kind of move that was. But anyway, nonetheless, Apollo Cruz. And look at this going to the top rope. What is he going to do here? Oh, diving headbutt. And now Apollo Cruz goes into the pinfall. Can he get it here? Shoulders are down. Apollo Crew. Oh, I thought he had. I thought he eliminated him there. And now Killian Dane has Lar or uh, Apollo Cruz. What is he attempting here? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Jesus! Dragon sleeper to Apollo Cruz. Oh my God. Oh, and Apollo Cruz taps out. Killian Dane eliminates Apollo Cruz. It is down the three men. The freak. The beast. And the beautiful Killian Day and Lars Sullivan having a return of, of strikes in the middle of the ring. Killian Day sets up Lars suplex. Killian Day hits a suplex on Lars Sullivan, and now Killian Day sends him into the corner. And Lars, oh wait a minute, where Tower Breeze get a chair? Tower Breeze has a chair. Oh, look at this now. Oh wait a minute, Lars Sullivan. Oh look at this. Oh, tower move. Oh, Jesus. It looked like he was trying to send Killian Dane as a weapon, like a wrecking ball towards Tyler Breeze. But now Tyler using a chair to attack Tyler or uh, Lars Sullivan. He's trying to use as much damage as he can to take him out because he knows it's going to be a lot. It's like being stuck between a rock and a hard place, and they're both beating you up. And look at this now. Oh, Killian Dane. He just got sent up. Look, just lands on his feet and dropped him with a headbutt. Now Killian Dane. Oh, DDT onto the chair. Killian Dane with a DDT onto the chair. Looks like he could be he could be in line for a new for a win. Oh, running power slam to Lars Sullivan. And it looks like Tyler Breeze is gonna keep his distance. I would too. But nonetheless, he's gotta make that final pin. Even if even if Lars Sullivan does eliminate Killian Dane or vice versa. Because Tyler Breeze is going to have to make a pinfall of his own. But wait a minute now. Lars Sullivan. Oh, Tyler. Caught him. Just like Tweedledee and Tweedledum sends him into each other. Oh, wait. Lars Sullivan has Tyler Breeze. Sends him down. And Tyler Breeze now trying to fight his own fight. Trying to go after Ty or, uh, Lars Sullivan. Oh, look at this. Sent him over. And now Tyler Breeze has Lars Sullivan down. Can he get it into the crucifix? No. Lars Sullivan. He is... Tyler Breeze. He's trying to use as much as he can to put away Lars Sullivan as he drops him with a bulldog. And Lars Sullivan and Killian Dane using as much as they can to put him away. Oh! Double choke bomb. They are all just going all out on each other. And now, oh, Lars Sullivan with a headbutt. Tyler Breeze trying to recover on the outside. And look at this now, Lars Sullivan draping those forearms across the head and face of Killian Dane. And now Lars Sullivan looks at Killian. Oh, wait a minute now. Oh, knee directly to the cheek of Lars, of Killian Dane. As Lars rolls him into the cover. Can we get a new champion? No. And Tyler Breeze now. Tyler Breeze makes him makes him way into the ring. As Tyler Breeze, oh, oh, God! Now Tyler Breeze. Oh, wait a minute now. Tyler Breeze has Killian. Oh, wait now. Killian Dane slaps his arm away. And wait, is this now? Killian Dane sets up Lars or uh, Tyler for a crucifix power bomb. But no, Tyler catches himself. Neckbreaker. Killian Dane hits the neck break or Tyler Breeze hits the neckbreaker on Killian Dane. And now Tyler. Fires away with an elbow. With the Enziguri. And there goes Killian Dane to the outside. But wait a minute now. I don't think he notices. I don't think Tyra notices Lars Sullivan in the ring. Oh! I think Tyra accidentally hit the referee. He hit the referee by mistake. And there's a beauty shot. And there's a beauty shot to Lars Sullivan. Come on, referee. In the position. Can we get it? One. Two. No. Lars Sullivan kicks out. 
Oh, and Killian Dane. Killian Dane, that was on purpose. Killian Dane just used a chair on the referee for counting, for not counting that as a three. Even though it was clearly a two. And Killian Dane now, he is just over. Oh, he is raged. He is, he is enraged. Killian Day now. Oh, dropped with a, with a clothesline from Lars Sullivan. And now Lars Sullivan able to throw Killian Dane away as he... Oh, wait a minute now. Look at the power. Powers him over. And now Lars Sullivan has Killian Dane. Oh, wait. Oh, look at the power of Lars Sullivan. He's just walking around with Killian Dane. Oh, drops him down with a power with a power slam. Oh, wait a minute now. Lars Sullivan gets into the pinfall. Can he get it here? No. Killian Dane kicks out. And now Tower Breeze is on the top rope. Look at this. Oh, elbow to the back of Killian Dane. But Lars Sullivan nonetheless. Still, oh, wait a minute. Tyler grabs hold of Killian. Sends him into the ring post. And now Tyler. Oh, wait a minute. Rolls up. Rolls up Lars Sullivan. Can he get it? One. Two. No. Oh, wait a minute. Lars Sullivan powers himself over. One. Oh, wait. Tyler Breeze rolls him over into a backslide. Tyler Breeze into the backslide. Could have a Killian Dane. Oh, no. It looked like Lars Sullivan may have been eliminated there as Tyler Breeze. Oh, wait a minute. Looks like Killian. Oh, Jesus. Killian Dane with a running cross body. They just flattened Tyler Breeze against Lars Sullivan's elbow. But now Killian Dane has Lars in the corner. I don't like where he's going with this. Oh, wait a minute. Killian Dane using all of his power. Has Lars Sullivan up. Can he get it? Killian Dane. Ulster Plantation. Into Lars Sullivan. And Killian Dane. One. Two. Lars Sullivan has been eliminated. It is down to Beauty and the Beast. Tyler Breeze and Killian Dane. Tyler Breeze. He's, he is awestruck. Oh, look at this now. Tyler Breeze says he can't touch me over here. But, oh, Killian Dane nonetheless. And there's a kick to the back. God, so much power behind the kick is Killian Dane using against Tyler Breeze. We started with six. We started with six men. Now we're starting. Now we're ending with two. With a crossroads under the chair. And now Tyler Breeze has Killian Dane. Has Killian Dane in position for an elbow drop. And now Tyler hits the pin. Can he get it? No. And now Tyler Breeze. Oh no, lifting up Killian Dane. And there's a beauty shot. No. Tyler Breeze almost hit him with a beauty shot. We could have had a new champion right there. Now you gotta think though. Killian Dane and Tyler Breeze, they're the final men. So that means one of these two men are gonna become the world television champion. And there's a running cross body. And Killian Dane now, just using as much as he can, tosses the chair to the outside. And Tyler Breeze and Killian Dane both just firing away at each other as Killian Dane has Tyler Breeze up. Oh no, Killian Dane, Ulster Plantation. Ulster Plantation, but Killian Dane's not finished. He's gonna take Tyler Breeze. But wait a minute, Killian Dane has Tyler. Oh no, into that dragon sleeper. We saw Apollo Crews get eliminated right here. Can Tyler Breeze get out of it? Can Killian Dane successfully win the World Television Championship here? Is he gonna get it? No, wait, Killian Dane. Oh, just right hands to the side of the head. Tyler Breeze catches himself. And oh no, Killian Dane counters. And what is it? Oh, huge bro kick from Tyler Breeze knocks Killian Dane down and drops an elbow. Tyler Breeze fighting Killian Dane. Oh, now Tyler Breeze fighting. Oh, wait a minute. Killian Dane has him. Oh, wait. Killian Dane sets him up. Power bomb. Killian Dane hits the power bomb on Tyler Breeze. And right now, he's awestruck on how much power is being delivered by these, boat, by these men right now. And look at the power of Killian Dane. Power bomb. Power bomb. And now Killian Dane has Tyler Breeze. But what is he doing here? Killian Dane has Tyler right where he wants him. Look at him power over his head into the outside. 
to the outside. Killian Dane sends Tyler Breeze. Oh, wait a minute now. Killian Dane, he's getting rid of the announce table. This is not a good idea. This is not good in the slightest. And what is going to happen now? And Killian Dane now looks at Tyler Breeze. Oh, wait a minute now. Killian sends Tyler Breeze up into a powerbomb position. I don't like this. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Killian Dane's back must have gone out because Tyler Breeze, now he's in control. But now Tyler, oh, sends Killian Dane into the announce table. Tyler Breeze grabs him by the head into the announce table. Sends Killian Dane's face. And now Tyler, he's going to make his way to the top rope. Oh, wait a minute. Tyler Breeze, look at this, telling Killian Dane to get up. He's telling him to go back up. And Tyler Breeze, oh, try to go for a drop kick, but Killian Dane has, the, has him nonetheless. Oh, wait, no, Tyler catches himself. There you go. Tyler Breeze now has Killian. Oh, just fires away with punches to the... Oh, no, Killian Dane moves out of the way. And just, oh, try to go for a bro kick. But Tyler Breeze counter. Supermodel kick to the side of the head. And now, Tyler Breeze into the pitfall. Can we get it here? Can we have a new champion right here? No. Killian Dane kicks out. And now Tyler Breeze. Oh, wait, no. Killian Dane fires. Went up with a headbutt directly to the head. And now Killian Dane sends Tyler into the corner. Oh, no. Uh, Tyler Breeze better move. Killian Dane, he's on the second rope. Look at that. Oh. Jesus, that had to hurt. And now Killian Dane has Tyler Breeze up for a power bomb. But no, Tyler catches himself. Just fires away with punches to the face. Tyler Breeze trying to trying to be able to catch himself right now. Oh, wait a minute. Tyler Breeze has Killian. Shards of glass. Tyler Breeze hits shards of glass on Killian Dane into the pinfall. Can he have it here? One. Two, Tyler Breeze is the new world television champion. Tyler Breeze has defied all odds and he has proclaimed himself the new world television champion. Tyler Breeze can't believe it. He is, he is just an all. Tyler Breeze, he is the face of the SmackDown Live roster as he holds that championship proud. He is now the man. Tyler Breeze, he is feeling this Brooklyn crowd here tonight. And he is so happy to finally proclaim a championship in WWE. He has done it. Oh, wait, 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 that, that's Chris Jericho. Oh, Chris Jericho, is, he's out. What is he doing? Wait a minute, Roderick Strong. Roderick Strong and Cassius Ono. But wait a minute, Roderick Strong. Oh, Alabama slammed through the table. According to my lineup sheet, Jericho and we're supposed to go one-on-one -on -one with, Hawken, with Hawkins and Ryder here tonight. Are you kidding me? And now Roderick Strong has Cassius Ono. End of heartache. You have got to be kidding me. And Roderick Strong just leaves Cassius Ono there to, to fend for himself. And he makes his way towards the ramp. But... And Arthur's of Pain making their entrance. What are we doing? Are you serious? Okay, I'm... Okay. Alright. Okay, I'm getting my headset now that Jericho and I are in no shape to compete. So, we're going to have the Authors of Pain. They're going to be taking on Hawkins and Ryder here tonight for the Raw Tag Team titles. And, honestly, I don't think they deserve it. I mean, we just saw that Roderick Strong took out Cassius Ono. We just saw that they took out Cassius Ono. They probably did the same thing to Chris Jericho. So, so now the authors of pain, so now the authors of pain are gonna take advantage like vultures. And now the Raw Tag Team Championships are gonna be defended under the authors of pain and Hawkins and Ryder. And that's kind of ridiculous that 
that Jericho, no, they directly earned this spot. They survived. They survived three other teams in a fatal four-way elimination match. And as you saw, if I remember correctly, it was either Akum or Razor. They were in the finals. Cassius Ono defeated them fair and square. And nonetheless, they get the championship match either, either way. Like, that's... I don't understand how that's... That's... That's fair in the slightest. But... I guess now we're gonna have to deal with it. Because that's the match. And as you can see, Hawkins and Ryder hold the Raw Tag Team Championships around their waist proudly. But... I don't even know if it's gonna be possible if they're if they're even prepared for tonight because the authors of pain have just been laying waste to everybody on the raw tag team division. Nonetheless, and Hawkins and Ryder feel like they have a cold head they have a they have a cool head here tonight against one of the most destructive forces in the WWE at the moment. And this match is actually for the titles. So they better have their A game or they're not gonna be able to they're not going to be able to do anything. And there you go. The Raw Tag Team Championships are on the line. Under some under some things that I would classify as BS. But nonetheless, it looks like, it looks like it's going to be Akum and Kurt Hawkins starting out here. And look at... Oh, Akum with a clothesline. There goes Zack Ryder flying towards our announce table. As Akum sets up Kurt Hawkins. What is he going to do here? Akum sends him into the corner. And look at this. Oh, punch to the face. Razor with a little bit of an assist there. As Akum just lays waste to Kurt Hawkins. And look at this. There's a tag to Kurt to Razor. And wait a minute. Are you serious? The last chapter. The last chapter from the Authors of Pain. And look at this now. Razor and Akum. Can they get it here? Wait a minute. We have new champions. The Authors of Pain are the new Raw Tag Team Champions. Here are your winners and new Raw Tag Team and Are you kidding me? Are you serious? The Authors of Pain are the new Raw Tag Team Champions. And they didn't even earn the opportunity to fight here tonight. Jericho must be livid. They must be just outraged that Authors of Pain just took their spot. Well, as you can see there, Roman Reigns is back. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. Well, as you can see, Roman Reigns is back on SmackDown. And Roman Reigns is under the contract of a man named Drew Gulak. I have no idea who that is, but nonetheless, we are going to be getting into the second to last match of SummerSlam 2K19 here tonight. The WWE Championship on the line right now, Aleister Black and AJ Styles. This has got combustible written all over it. Aleister Black earned this opportunity after defeating after defeating, uh, if I remember correctly, it was Baron Blade in the Beat the Clock tournament. He was able to defeat his opponent in the least amount of time. And he was able to fight AJ Styles for the WWE Championship. This is not the first time that they've clashed. If you remember Extreme Rules 2K18, they were in a steel cage triple threat match. Along with the glorious Bobby Roode. And Aleister Black. Aleister Black, as we call him, the leader of the Black Mask. 
looks to set that WWE Championship around his waist. AJ Styles has kept that championship ever since, ever since November on SmackDown. So right now, he's going at nine months for his title reign. And Aleister Black just sets himself in the middle of the ring and just sets everything. And everything right now is about the WWE title. And Aleister Black, Aleister Black and AJ Styles have gotten very personal over the past couple of weeks. And Alistair has been taunting AJ, saying he's nothing but too sweet, or essentially just teasing him about the Bullet Club. You know, getting under AJ's skin, trying to trying to knock off AJ in any way that he can. And here we go, the phenomenal one with the WWE Championship around his waist. He looks to set Alistair Black in the dirt. Here tonight. And AJ with the WWE title around his waist makes his way towards the ring. And AJ, he is he has had several matches over the course of a couple of pay-per-views. And nonetheless, he has succeeded in every single one. He defeated, he defeated Rusev back in Backlash. He defeated Bobby Roode at King of the Ring. He defeated Aleister Black and Bobby Roode in a steel cage match at Extreme Rules. He defeated Dolph Ziggler at Clash of Champions. And AJ Styles sets himself up for what is supposed to be his most fiery and his most exquisite match of his career as Aleister Black sets to put that WWE title around his waist here tonight. So let's kick it over to JoJo. And AJ Styles, AJ Styles just hasn't locked, hasn't stopped staring at Aleister Black. We all know how much this match means to Aleister and AJ. Not just the WWE title on the line, but the bragging rights that will come in defeating such an amazing rival. Aleister Black and AJ Styles do not like each other and they will determine will be determined to cripple each other and look at this Aleister and AJ is taking their time staring at each other and they're doing a little bit of circling and look at this now Aleister and AJ here we go into a collar and elbow tie up Aleister Black into the elbow and look at this now sends him off AJ into a drop kick no oh Aleister Black that was unique AJ Styles tried to go for a missile dropkick. Alistair just drops him with a body splash. That was actually pretty entertaining. As Alistair Black now fires away with AJ. Oh, look at this now. Moonsault. Oh, look at this. AJ Styles is confused. Oh, AJ slides into the phenomenal forearm. Well, not really phenomenal forearm. Just kind of a forearm. But nonetheless, it was effective as AJ Styles now. Oh, look at this. There goes Alistair Black to the outside. To the outside goes Aleister Black. And look at this now. AJ tried to go for a moonsault. Aleister Black moves out of the way. And Aleister looks at AJ. He says it's do it's go time. There goes AJ. There goes AJ over the over the barricade. And Aleister Black sets AJ. Oh. Oh Jesus. Now Aleister Black. Oh, AJ Styles fires away with a punch of his own. And now he's oh. There goes Aleister. 
sends himself over, and now they're making their way back towards the ring. Oh, wait a minute. AJ's going for a powerbomb into a crucifix. He may be going for the crucifix powerbomb. Alistair counters with a neckbreaker. God, nearly, nearly got him on the stairs. There's a count at eight. Oh, my God. They better get back in the ring or they're going to lose the match. And AJ Styles, he gets back into the ring. I mean, he could have retained the title right there, but this just proves how much this means to AJ to defeat Alistair. I mean, I, I definitely would want to defeat a rival who has been taunting me for so long. And Alistair Black, look at this. Feeling himself. Feeling the crowd. But now AJ. Oh, wait a minute now. AJ Styles has him into a huge suplex. Into a suplex and sends him down. And now AJ. Oh, there's a chop. There's a chop. And AJ Styles sends Alistair in the corner. Just looks at the back of him. And look at this. Sends him up. AJ Styles now sends Alistair. Wait, what? Wait, can Cena do that? Wait, can Cena do that? I mean, he is the host of SummerSlam, but we're in the middle of the match. And Aleister Black drops AJ with a Meteoroa. We're in the middle of a match, and Cena is the host of SummerSlam. He has been granted general manager authority for SummerSlam. So I guess this match is now a no disqualification match. And oh, God, Aleister Black with a punch. Or with a kick to his head. Just Alistair Black knows AJ way too well. AJ knows that Alistair knows him way too well to be knocked over that quickly. And now Alistair Black has AJ. Look at this. Sends up reverse DDT. And Alistair Black now just looks on as AJ is just being fired away. Oh, AJ Styles with a punch to the with a punch to the abdomen as he sends him over. But AJ Styles. Oh no, looks at Alistair. Oh, right to the face. Face. And now Alistair with a knee directly to the face. And now AJ Styles. AJ Styles is trying to trying to take as much as take as much damage out of AJ as he can. And look at this off the ropes. Beautiful disaster kick. Beautiful disaster kick from Alistair Black. And Alistair Black now makes his way to the outside. It's now a no disqualification match. And it looks like Alistair Black's gonna take advantage of that. He's got a baseball bat in his hand. Look at this. Oh, wait. What? Alistair Black just sends it down. Oh. It says, it says, take your shot, AJ. Take your shot. And Alistair now. Wait a minute. <laughs> it, Alistair Black just keeps shooting the shot. It's like a battle of egos here. And AJ just says, come on, hit me, Alistair. Hit me. But Alistair sends it. Oh. Sends the bat down and hits him with a spinning knee. And he's the pinball. No, Alistair Black. Alistair Black able to kick out. Or AJ Styles able to kick out. And now Alistair with the legs wrapped around AJ's head. Just, oh, hits the knees. And Alistair Black now looks at AJ. And there's a kick to the, kick to the neck. And now Alistair, oh, wait a minute. No, no. AJ Styles now has Alistair Black into it. Power bomb! And what is this? Oh! That was unique. Pop up cutter from AJ Styles. Knocks him down. And now AJ. Oh no! Alistair Black now has AJ. Look at this. Oh, drops him. Oh! No! Into the blackout! Blackout combo from Alistair Black. And now Alistair sees AJ Styles for what he does as he drops him with a gun stun. And Alistair Black just... Ugh, my head's been spinning this entire this entire pay-per-view. And look at this, Alistair Black sends AJ Styles up. Just drops him with a stun gun onto the top rope into a roundhouse kick. Alistair Black rolls into the pinfall. One, two, no. AJ Styles kicks out. <sighs> Alistair Black now with a knee drop, but AJ Styles able to able to counter. And what is this now? AJ sends Alistair over. And what? Oh no! AJ's got a bat. Oh Jesus! Back to the face. Sends Alistair Black to the outside. And now AJ's telling him to get up. I don't think this is a good idea. AJ Styles. There we go. Outside with the phenomenal forearm. 
phenomenal forearm to the outside. And now AJ is going to take advantage of the no disqualification rules. It's a bloody Sunday on the outside. And now AJ with a moonsault. AJ Styles hits a moonsault on the outside. And Aleister Black, he's, oh, Aleister Black's got him. And what is he going to do now? Aleister Black's got AJ up on a fireman's carry position and just sends him. Oh, ho, ho. That was just embarrassing. And now Alistair is going to take a seat. He's going to intimidate AJ Styles a little bit more. Oh, this is... This is... This is a lot. <laughs> it's a lot to take in. I mean, John Cena just changed our match to, to our no disqualifications match for the title. I mean, is there a reason, though? Like, why... This match was going to be great nonetheless. And now AJ... Oh, no. Try to go for a drop kick. But Alistair Black with a black mask. Alistair Black's going to roll into the cover. Can he get it here? Do we have a new WWE Champion? No, we do not. AJ Styles is still in this match. And we are still going. WWE title is on the line. And AJ, look at this. Throws up the two sweep. And just sends Alistair. Oh, no. Sends Alistair Black onto the top rope. This may be good or bad for AJ. Oh, wait a minute. We've seen this before. Going for a... Oh, no. Tried to go for a Hurricane Rana. Alistair Black counters and hits him with a knee drop. And now Alistair Black looks on as AJ Styles is trying to set himself up. But now Alistair... Oh, wrenches the knee... Wrenches the neck of AJ Styles. But what is he doing now? AJ Styles... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, drops him down. AJ Styles, he's hit with the Dragon Slayer. The Dragon Slayer maneuver. This is what he used on Bobby Roode when AJ Styles escaped the cage at Extreme Rules. And AJ Styles got out of the ring first before Bobby Roode could tap out. And now AJ, oh wait a minute, AJ sends him over. Now AJ Styles looks at, oh no, trying to go for a kick, but he's not able to. As he sends him down, and a kick to the back. Alistair Black and AJ Styles just going at it like rabid dogs and AJ Styles sent over with an arm drag and there's a there's a huge kitchen sink sends AJ to the other side and there goes AJ They're trying to recuperate as Alistair Black makes his way in the ring but wait a minute Alistair's feeling it look at this to the outside oh no didn't get all of it as AJ Styles just kind of moved out of the way and swatted but now AJ oh wait a minute now Kyle Renelbo struggle. Alistair pushes him back with a drop kick. And it looked like AJ may have hit his back on the apron there. And now, oh, wait a minute. No, he countered. AJ Styles, look at this payway kick. AJ Styles with a payway kick. Knocks Alistair Black right off of his feet. And now AJ looks at Alistair's broken body as AJ says, get up, Alistair. Look at this blockbuster from the top. And into the pin. Referee. One. Two. No. <laughs> AJ Styles kicked out. But now Aleister Black. He's got control of this entire match. With the reverse DDT on AJ. The crowd is going insane. For these two veterans of wrestling. AJ Styles fires away with a left hand. And now AJ. Oh no. Aleister with a reverse DDT. The crowd is feeling it, and there's a moonsault, but no, AJ moves out of the way. And now AJ is going to the top. Oh, wait a minute, no, AJ Styles kind of teasing. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, they both shot their shot at the same time. And now AJ, oh, wait a minute, no. Oh, Alistair, now he's firing away with more punches, but AJ with a punch to the gut. And now Alistair, oh, no, trying to go for a forearm. And now AJ, look at this. Alistair drops him with a bulldog. And Aleister Black, what is this now? Aleister's wrenching the neck of AJ Styles into an anaconda vice almost like. And now, oh wait a minute now. AJ Styles rolled him over. And now Aleister has AJ Styles down, but now he's got a bat in his hand. Oh wait, oh my god. That was not going to be good for, fe for AJ's future kids if that was going to hit. And now AJ with a, with a bat directly to the face. That may have been it for Aleister Black. And AJ Styles now 
Oh, wait a minute. Now he's going to roll. Alistair Black in for the calf crusher. Calf crusher locked in on Alistair Black. AJ Styles, he has it cinched in. This is what he did to defeat Bobby Roode, the king of the ring. But Alistair Black able to roll out of it. As Alistair, oh no, Alistair Black grabbed AJ by the head. But that wasn't going to do nothing. Alistair Black just, oh my god. They just keep going back and forth. And AJ, oh, look at the stare down. That just happened right there. And look at Alistair trying to go for a moonsault from the top. Didn't get all of it, but it was effective nonetheless. And now Alistair Black's going to make his way to the top rope. I don't know if this is a good idea. Alistair with a moonsault. AJ Styles puts his knees up. My God, right onto the ribs of Alistair Black. And now AJ Styles looks on as AJ. Phenomenal forearm. Phenomenal forearm. And that may be it. One, two. No. Alistair Black kicks out. Alistair Black kicks out of the phenomenal forearm. How is he still going? I have no clue. But AJ Styles is still going nonetheless. And it's going to be... Oh, wait a minute now. Alistair fires away. Blackout. There you go. Alistair Black hits the blackout on AJ Styles. And now... Oh, right to the, right to the face. And there's a kitchen sink. Or right, there's a kitchen sink from Alistair Black. And Alistair... Saying he's done, and there's a bicycle knee strike to the face of AJ Styles into the pinfall. One, two, three. No. Oh. Thank God I'm losing my voice by the second here. But Alistair Black and AJ just still going at it. And look at this AJ sends him over with a wheel trip. And AJ Styles now. Alistair Black's on the ropes. And look at this now. Oh, no. Alistair caught himself on an enziguri. And now Alistair. Top rope. Incoming. Oh, try to go for Meteoroa. But Alistair Black just went knee first into the ground. And there goes. Oh, AJ Styles fighting. Oh, and there's another chop from AJ Styles. As AJ looks to send Alistair Black to the outside. And there goes Alistair. And AJ's going to make his way to the outside. Wait a minute. That's John Cena. That's the host of SummerSlam. And what is he doing? Wait a minute. He just sent Alistair Black back into the ring. And what is he doing now? But wait a minute. Oh my god. Shoulder tackle to AJ. Are you serious? And now Cena. Look at this. Cena drops an attitude adjustment on AJ Styles. Are you kidding me? And now AJ sent back into the ring. Why, John? And Alistair Black's going to go into the pinfall and take advantage. Two. No! John Cena, he just turned on AJ Styles by hitting him with an attitude adjustment, trying to cost him the WWE Championship. But AJ Styles is stronger than that, and he is still going. A Alistair is in shock. I'm in shock. Everybody's in shock. And Cena... Cena made his way towards the ramp, and he's going to have to answer to some questions tomorrow night. And, oh, Alistair dropped with a German suplex on the outside. And now AJ sends Alistair back into the ring. I thought that may have been it when Cena hit the attitude adjustment on AJ Styles, but nonetheless, we're still going. Now I understand why John Cena wanted this to be a no-DQs match. He wanted Alistair Black. He wanted AJ Styles to lose the title. And what is this now? Alistair Black has AJ Styles top rope into a superplex. Superplex to AJ Styles and Alistair Black. He is just just trying to do as much as he can to knock him out. And whoa, AJ Styles pay kick. And AJ Styles just looks on, but no, Alistair catches himself. For Explorer Suplex. And Alistair feeling the crowd. Who is going to come out? The WWE Champion. Oh, and there's a kick to the, to the inside of the leg. Oh, no. And now he's fighting. Wait a minute. AJ Styles, look at this. Sends Alistair Black off. Alistair counters. And look at this now. AJ Styles does it again. And look at this now. AJ. Oh, there's a moonsault. 
And AJ Styles saying it to get up a the Aleister Black. Get up. And AJ off the ropes. Look at this. Reverse DDT. God, that will that will that one that just surprises me every time he does it. And Aleister Black able to kick out nonetheless. And we are still going. How is this match still going? I don't know. And Aleister Black drops AJ with a German. How did John why did John Cena do that? I'm I'm still wondering. Like why? And AJ Styles now trying to trying to just intoxicate Aleister Black. And there we go. Oji Kuroshi. And now AJ sends Aleister Black. Sends him up. Well, wait a minute now. Aleister. Oh! Right to the right to the gut. And Aleister Black hits a roundhouse kick. But what is he doing now? Aleister Black sends AJ up. Black Mass! No! AJ Styles counters the Black Mass. And now AJ, look at this, has Aleister into the Styles Clash. And into the pin. One, two, three. Oh my god. Aleister Black kicks out of the Styles Clash. And this match is still going. And Aleister Black now. Just using as much as he can to just destroy AJ Styles in the slightest. Sends AJ, oh my god, delivers knees to the face. And there goes AJ. Sends him to the outside. God, Aleister Black and AJ Styles just want to deliver as much punishment to each other. They want to, get to be the WWE Champion. And AJ... Look at the oh boot to the face from AJ Styles and AJ catches himself for DDT but Aleister Black catches himself hits the hits the punches to the gut and there's a bicycle knee strike AJ Styles falls down and AJ Styles now he's on the ropes oh wait a minute oh right to the punch to the head and now Aleister Black has AJ back suplex under the apron. God, the hardest part of the ring. And AJ sent back in the ring. When Alistair hits the frog splash. But AJ moves out of the road. Oh, wait. Alistair Black just kips right up. And now Alistair Black. Oh, there's a comeback. And Alistair. Oh, wait a minute. Catches him. Trips him over. God, is Alistair Black. Oh, wait a minute. Looks like he's going to set himself up. He's going to set himself up for another bicycle knee strike. But AJ Styles moves out of the way as AJ Styles trying to use as much as he can to knock down Alistair as he drops him with a suplex. But wait a minute now. AJ Styles, he's on the ropes. This is not a good position for either man. As Alistair Black, he's just trying to use as much as he can for a phenomenal forearm. But AJ Styles moved out. AJ Styles was not in vicinity. Alistair Black using as much as he can. Trying to go for the black mass. AJ Styles ducked. But AJ fires back with a left hand of his own. And now AJ. Oh, sent over the top rope. And Alistair Black now has AJ. Oh, wait, no. Oh, AJ Styles now. Just kicks Alistair down. And Alistair. Oh, no. Alistair Black catches him. Throws his arm. Throws his leg away. And now Alistair Black sends AJ into the into the barricade. Oh wait a minute. No 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 no. Oh into the barricade. And Alistair Black sends AJ. AJ Styles is just down and out at the moment. And AJ Styles, Alistair Black has him in position for a knee strike, but AJ moves out of the way. And what is this now? Oh wait, oh Sayedo suplex. Oh wait a minute now. Alistair Black. Rolls to the outside. And what is this now? Oh, rolls him over. Alistair Black has AJ. Wait a minute. Alistair Black's trying to recover. Oh, there's a huge super kick to the back of the head. Oh, wait. Oh, and there's another. And there's another forearm. And AJ, play kick. Knocks down Alistair Black. And now AJ Styles has Alistair for another Ochi Garochi. Ochi Hirochi, as AJ goes to the outside, we all know what comes next. We all know what comes next as soon as this happens. AJ, phenomenal forearm, no. AJ moved, Alistair Black moved out of the way. 
Oh my god. Oh, wait a minute now. Alice are blasted and take advantage of AJ's wrongdoings. Look at this, just using his foot. Black Mass! Good night, AJ! Can he get it? One, two, we have... What? Alistair Black did not win the title. AJ Styles is still fighting. Even after, even after Cena's attack, AJ is still going. We are still fighting. AJ Styles dropped with another Dragon Slayer. Alistair Black has the Dragon Slayer locked in on AJ Styles. But no, AJ rolls Alistair Black over. And now AJ... Look at, oh, roundhouse kick to the head of AJ Styles, and Alistair Black sends him up, oh no, well they can try to go for another roundhouse, but AJ, he's still in this match, he's still fighting, he still wants to do as much damage as he can, and AJ Styles now with the Tornado DDT, Tornado DDT to Alistair Black, and now AJ's gonna go to the top rope, I don't know what he has in mind, but nonetheless, he's gonna do it, all or nothing, and he gets nothing. As AJ Styles lifts up Black Mass. Alistair Black into the Black Mass. Can he get it? One, two. We have a new WWE Champion. Alistair Black has proclaimed himself the new WWE Champion. Alistair Black has done it. He has done it. I cannot believe it. Alistair Black has achieved something many superstars would dream of. And ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our main event. The last man standing match for the World Heavyweight Championship. The monster among men. Braun Strowman and Samoa Joe set to go one-on-one -on -one in a last man standing match. The winner becomes the World Heavyweight Champion. And let me just tell you, oh wait a minute, wait a minute, Braun turn around, turn around Braun. And look at this now, Samoa Joe, we're already starting this match. Our main event is underway and we're not even in the middle of the ring. Remember, the rules of the match are simple. You have to keep your opponent down for a count of 10. The first person to keep their opponent incapacitated for 10 seconds wins the World Heavyweight title. And Mar oh, Joe caught himself. Joe attacks Braun Strowman. And right now, they're just at the stage. Like, they don't have to stay in the ring for this match. They can go wherever. They can go all the way to the, to the Jet Stadium if they wanted to. But now Strowman, oh, fires away to the gut of Samoa Joe. But now Strowman... Oh, wait a minute. Has Joe? Oh! Back suplex. Oh, no. That, by the way, that's concrete. That's not a, That's not the ring. Oh, wait a minute now. Strowman has Joe up on his shoulders. Oh, no. I don't like where Strowman's going. But Joe catches himself. Oh, and there's a chop block. Knocking Strowman off of his feet. Remember, 10, 10 count. You must keep him off. But now Samoa Joe. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Strowman powers Joe over. Oh, like Joe tried to go for a DDT, but Strowman just throws him over. And now Braun, oh no, Braun's got Joe by the throat. Oh, wait a minute, I don't know where this is going. Oh! God, directly to the gut. And now Braun Strowman has Samoa Joe up where he wants him. Oh my God! Oh my God! Braun just sent Joe off of the stage onto the concrete. And Strowman just basking in his greatness as Joe may not be able to continue. There's a count of four. Remember, count of five, and this match, count of 10, and this match ends. Six, but oh, wait a minute, Strowman! From the top rope, hits a knee drop. Or not the top rope, the top of the stage. But nonetheless now, Joe, oh! Joe rolled him over into a butterfly suplex, and now they're fighting up towards the stage. And now they're fighting even closer to the crowd as Samoa Joe has Strowman by the neck. And oh, into the barricade sends Strowman. And again. But now Strowman, oh, 
sent into the stage. And there's a, oh, wait, got to go for a, oh my God, Strowman has him up on his shoulders. Strowman quickly countered the clothesline into a, oh, Fireman's Carry. Drops him into the stage for Fireman's Carry. Drops him with a deathly drive. God, Braun Strowman just, oh, Spine Buster. Samoa Joe on the concrete. Just all of these hits, just making me cringe. Just all the time, just keep hitting the concrete. This just proves how much this match means to both these men. Not just the World Heavyweight title, but just how much they want to incapacitate their opponent. They've had a rivalry dating all the way back to May. And now Strowman, oh wait, no. Braun Strowman, oh, dropped with a single leg drop kick. And Samoa Joe and Braun Strowman now fighting. Oh no, Braun Strowman and Samoa Joe. Look at that, just fighting on the kit on the stage. Strowman dropped with a DDT on the ramp. That may have been it. And now Braun Strowman, he may be out here. There's a count of two. Oh, wait a minute. Braun Strowman now, he's up. Oh no, spinning back fist. And now Braun, oh no. Braun Strowman sends Joe up. Oh, wait a minute. Oh man. Braun Strowman has Joe up. Oh my god! Military press slam. And now Braun Strowman. Oh, Joe fires away with his own punches. And now Samoa Joe just firing away with his own strikes. And wait a minute. Oh, Strowman counters and just sends him towards, towards the barricades, towards the ring. And Braun Strowman just trying to inflict as much damage on Joe as possible. As Braun sends Joe into the corner. Oh my god, no! Oh, you're Nagi onto the barricade. And now we're gonna start a count. Count of two from the referee. All they all that Braun Strowman can do is watch as Samoa Joe tries to recover. And it looks like Joe is gonna get back into this match. He's not gonna give up for that world heavyweight title. And now, oh Samoa Joe with a with a spinning back fist. And now Samoa Joe has Braun right where he wants him. Can he get it? Oh, no, no, no. Joe sends Braun into the stairs. Remember this match for the world heavyweight title. And now Samoa Joe, Russian leg sweep. Russian leg sweep on the outside. Oh, my God. They're getting closer and closer to our, to our cameraman as we go. Oh, God. Braun Strowman just with an elbow directly to the face. Hey, wait a minute now, Samoa Joe, he's up on his shoulders for a running power slam. Count of one. We're going to be starting a count. Braun Strowman hit the, he just hit the running power slam on Samoa Joe. And Strowman, now he's got the stairs. I don't like where this is going. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. You know, and by the way, every time he hits during a count, this will be a reset. And now Braun Strowman, oh no, has Samoa Joe for a gut red suplex. And now Braun Strowman sends Samoa Joe into the into the ring. And now Strowman, Joe look at each other from just arm's length. But now Braun, oh wait a minute now, Samoa Joe hit right in the face. And there goes Strowman. And there goes Strowman. But now, Braun Strowman and Samoa Joe set to face just, oh no, Samoa Joe. He's getting rid of the announce table. And there goes the announce table, Samoa Joe. Oh, wait a minute, now he's getting the other one. And there's another, Samoa Joe's just getting rid of all of it. And now Samoa Joe and Braun Strowman. Oh, look at this now. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, they tried to go for a DDT. Braun Strowman caught himself. And what is this now? Oh, no, no, no. Braun Strowman with a suplex. Monstrous suplex. And now Braun Strowman. Oh, no, no, no. Has Joe. Oh, what is this? Joe just caught. What is he going to do here? Butterfly suplex. Oh, my God. I think he may have landed on that monitor. But wait a minute now. Braun Strowman has Joe. Oh, wait a minute now. Oh, no, Samoa Joe. Oh!
Now some mojo. Spinning back this. I wait. Oh! Right into the announce table. Oh! And Samoa Joe now sends Braun Strowman onto the announce table. And Samoa Joe, oh my god, with the Uranagi, destroys the announce table. Count it to three. God, Braun Strowman may be out. Braun Strowman may not be able to get back into the match. Count of six, seven. Is he going to be able to get back in this match? Count of eight. Nine. Samoa Joe retains the title. No. Strowman's up. Oh, wait a minute now. Braun Strowman. Oh, wait a minute now. Braun Strowman has Samoa Joe. Oh. Choke slam. And now Braun Strowman has Joe. Oh, my God. Into a military press slam. And now Braun Strowman has Joe. Up on his shoulder. I don't like where this is going. But wait a minute now. Oh, shoulder breaker from Braun Strowman. And Strowman looks to do a lot more damage to Samoa Joe. Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Oh, into the into the into the crowd. Bear, or, uh, Braun Strowman sends Samoa Joe. But no. Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Try to go for another DDT. Braun Strowman catches himself. What is he gonna do? Oh, no, no, no. Strowman. Oh. God drops him with a gut buster. Oh, wait a minute now. Braun Strowman has Joe. Oh, into a backbreaker. And Braun Strowman has Joe. What is he going to do here? And Strowman sends Joe into, into the announce table. And Braun Strowman now has Joe right where he wants him into the, into the announce table. Oh, no. Wait a minute. I don't like where he's going. And oh, no, 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 Strowman has him by the throat. Oh, oh my god. Strowman with a choke slam through the table. Oh my god. Count of four. Five. Count of seven. This match may be over. Samoa Joe. He may not have anywhere to go. Nine. Do we have a new champion? No, we don't. Samoa Joe gets back onto his feet. And he makes his way towards the ring, knocking over our referee in the process. Now Samoa Joe fires the strikes. Oh, wait a minute now. Oh, strong him right to the face. And there's a spine buster. There's a spine buster to Samoa Joe. Uh, no. Samoa Joe catches himself. Oh, wait a minute now. Samoa Joe sends him off into an atomic drop. Oh, wait a minute now. Samoa Joe catches himself onto the onto the ropes, but Strowman is sending straight over. And Braun Strowman now sets Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe back into the ring. Oh, look at this now. Strowman. Strowman. He's going to attack Samoa Joe as much as he can. And look at this into the corner. Joe catches Strowman for, for a Yuranagi. Just lands back on on his back, and now Joe. Oh wait a minute now! Look at the look at the. Oh no no no! Ansel Gurry from Joe. Just look at the the look on Samoa Joe's face, and look at the look on Strowman as he fires away on Joe with even more attacks. And now Strowman sends Samoa Joe up into a power bomb position. Oh no! Oh my God! Power bomb on the one of the steel stairs, and Strowman's gonna get rid of those stairs. And Strowman said, "says Joe, get up. This is not good. I don't like where where Strowman, his mindset is at. I don't like where any of these men's men's mindsets are at." And now Samoa Joe, oh, went to the face. And now, oh no no no, Strowman, oh, just flattens him into the corner. And now Braun. Oh, wait a minute now. Send Samoa Joe into the corner. But what is he doing now? Oh, wait a minute. Braun sets Samoa Joe up on the top rope. But wait a minute. What, what is Strowman doing? Wait. Oh, my God. He just... Ex no. Strowman just exposed our... He just exposed our announced team. He just exposed the ring. There's nothing there. That's straight wood. 
That's that's exposed wood. Braun Strowman, he's just he's tearing apart our ring in the process to try and destroy to try and destroy Samoa Joe. And now Samoa Joe. Oh wait no, no. Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman, look at this. Has Joe up? No, Joe counters. And what is this now, Samoa Joe? In reverse DDT. And Samoa Joe now. Look at this. Has Strowman. Oh, what? No, no, no. I don't like that they're getting closer to that wood. I don't like that they're getting closer to the wood panel. But wait a minute now. Samoa Joe. Oh, no, 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 no. Samoa Joe has Strowman. Oh, my God. Lift and cutter. That wasn't really anything, anything too major. It just kind of landed on his knee. But now Samoa Joe... Now they're, now they're, it's even more dangerous. It's an exposed ring. And Samoa Joe with a forearm to the outside. And Samoa Joe now, look at this, to the outside with a forearm. Forearm smash. And Braun Strowman and Samoa Joe now, both of them fighting on the outside. Samoa Joe telling the referee to count. Count a two. And a count of two. As Samoa Joe and Braun Strowman just fighting as much as they can. And look at this now, Joe with a clothesline. Joe moves out of the way. As Strowman, oh my god, look at the strength. Look at the strong, oh my god. Oh my god. And now Braun Strowman has Samoa Joe. And as you can see in the background, our announce table's been fixed, but surprisingly the Spanish announce table hasn't. As Strowman tosses Samoa Joe towards the ring. God, we wanted to take as much advantage as we could while these men were in the ring. We, we fixed our announce tables pretty quickly. <laughs> uh, with Braun Strowman now. Oh, sends Joe. Because we're gonna we're gonna see a lot more, a lot more destruction with both of these men, nonetheless. And now Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe has Strowman. Oh, wait a minute now. Braun Strowman with a kick to the gut. Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Oh, into the stairs. Into the stairs. And now Braun Strowman sends Joe back into the ring. Braun Strowman and Samoa Joe. They just both want to destroy each other. Like, they just want to annihilate. Just. They just want to murder each other, essentially. And now Samoa Joe into the. Oh my god. Huge boot to the face from Samoa Joe. And what is this now? Samoa Joe! Whoa, oh no no no! Braun Strowman sends him up. Braun Strowman with his signature roar. What it says it's game time. Oh wait a minute now, Braun Strowman. Oh, with a knee to the corner. Oh no, Braun Strowman now. Oh to the gut. And now Braun Strowman with a gut. To the gut, and now Samoa Joe is just grimacing in pain as Strowman trying to recover himself. But there is no, there is no stopping these two men from winning the world heavyweight title. Oh wait a minute now, Samoa Joe, Yurinagi. Samoa Joe hits the Yurinagi on Braun Strowman, and there's a slap to the face. And look at this now, Samoa Joe sends Strowman. Oh wait a minute now, I don't like where this is going. Samoa Joe has Strowman up. Into the muscle buster. Two. That may be it for Strowman. Is he gonna be able to recover? Is that it? Is that gonna be the match? As Strowman trying to recover himself. But whoa, my God, Strowman is up. But now it's Joe. Oh, fires away. Both of these men are firing away at each other. And now Joe catches himself. And there's a look at that, just slug. Just slugging him with right hands. But what is this now? Oh no 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 no. Oh God drops him. What a flatliner. But wait a minute. Oh no, Joe just looked at Joe just looked at that wood panel. Joe just looked at that panel. What is he gonna do here? I don't like where this is going. Samoa Joe sends Strowman. Oh my god, no. Not again. Strowman. Oh my god, no. Go! Oh! Good night, Strowman. And now Braun Strowman could be out. Count of four. 
Braun Strowman is trying to get back into this match. I don't know if he's actually going to be able to. Samoa Joe. Is trying, oh, no. Samoa Joe. Braun Strowman's back up. Samoa Joe counters. Oh, no. Braun Strowman's got him in a fireman's carry position. Oh, my God. Wasteland onto the wood. Braun Strowman up to the wood. And now, oh, trying to kick him in the face. The strong, or, uh, Joe moved out of the way. And now he's in the corner. What is this? Oh, chop, punch, chop, punch, chop, punch, chop. Samoa Joe and Braun Strowman just, just going at each other like wild animals. Oh, no, Samoa Joe going for a power bomb. No, Strowman catches himself. Back body drop. Good thing he avoided the wood. Well, that would have been monstrous. That would have been disastrous for Braun Strowman and Samoa Joe. Joe fights back. I don't know if we have enough, but no. Oh, Braun Strowman fires away with a kick. But no, oh, Strowman kicked to the gut. Oh, no, no, no. I don't like where this is going. Oh, my. Oh! Strowman just pile drives Samoa Joe onto the exposed wood. We, we need the EMTs out here. Count of eight, Samoa Joe, he's not moving. That's a count of nine. Braun Strowman is the new world heavyweight champion. Braun Strowman has defeated Samoa Joe. Joe has, Joe has to be injured. He just got pile drive onto, onto exposed wood. But nonetheless, we have a new world heavyweight champion, and his name is Braun Strowman. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us at SummerSlam.